Hey yo! As you can see from the length of this video, this is not a normal one that I usually make. This is a VOD review I did with a player from the team Daisy's Defiance. I've done VOD reviews for different teams and players before, I just never recorded them. But I figured that since I never post anything anymore, I might as well just post some VOD reviews and give y'all some content to consume. For reference, this is a video from the competitive league called Legacy Brawl Hub. It's a five boat last ship standing game where the objective is to be the last ship standing. In these matches, however, there is no fifth boat, so they only had four ships. If y'all would like a VOD review and you play Legacy Brawl Hub, League of Thieves, or you just have a couple hourglass fights recorded, post that fight to YouTube or Twitch publicly and DM me that link. My Discord is in the description, you can send me a message there. I watched a little bit of the VOD, but I was. I hated a lot mm -hmm. of it. I hated a lot of it. Okay. okay that's, uh, that's the one that is in here. Saying, oh, where is it? Oh, good man. That's why they fucked up when they reset this. Uh, okay, so here's the first thing. In LBH, so I know people always say like, oh, you gotta believe you can win, or because then like, okay, yeah, like yeah, they're right. You gotta believe you can win all your fights, but some fights you can't win. Okay, and so in those fights you could win. You gotta play a little, little funny. I'll Anyways, in LBH, this first happened. What I'll always do. What I'll always do in LBH is I take the fight to yeah. people. Because if you see a ship triple sailing towards you, you kind of have to take that fight. If you decide to run away from them, you're just going towards other ships and putting yourself into a That's pinch. true. So it's way better to be the one chasing other ships, which is what you kind of do here, which is wonderful. So I, would, I always turn around, triple drop, get over there, which is what you did, which is great. Now here's where I kind of saw one mistake. Because you came over here. And you open up broad, which was it's, it's, it's not bad. Um, and then you get on here. I wouldn't bother with this sail, honestly. It's not that big a deal. Th this ship is going way faster than you are because they have three sails down. You have one. They're going to get yeah, in front of you. It's only because of out of bounds. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the out of bounds actually pass this island, and they're going to make it past this island before you do at this rate. So I'm, I don't worry about this. Like, if they're going to go this way, I want to have sail down so I can keep up with them and get close. If I full raise, yeah. they can kind of play the entire outskirt and just slowly make their way around me, and I can't really do much about it. And so that, it helps mm -hmm. to keep one sail down in this situation. So I wouldn't mind it. It's not bad you did it, because you didn't raise it all the way. But it was kind of that. Now, the yeah, main just problem, because of the outer bounds. Yeah, I get exactly. you. The main problem here was this ship turns oh, off. No, now, now once are. a ship turns off in LBH, you have two options. You can either send borders, or you can, or I would just crank the wheel and go towards them. Here, I wouldn't send borders because they're just too they're too far away. First of all, even if you did send borders, they're not going to make it on. Period. They have no pressure, like absolutely zero. Now here, I would crank it hard right. Reason being, I know they're peeling off, and so I'm okay with nosing them for a couple seconds so that I can get closer. Also, yeah. you'll turn faster because they're double sailing still. You only have one. You have one sail halfway up, so you could just have someone raise your back sail, crank hard right. You'll turn. You'll turn faster than they will, and you can drop a sail just slowly, like kind of go towards them on this line. Uh, instead, you crank hard left, and so because of that, you're going away from them because you're cranking hard left. Where is it? So you're going away from them because you're cranking hard left, as well as let's see. And so now they just get away. So the purple is turned all the way around, they raise all the sails, and now they drop them all. So by the time you actually turn around and have an angle to shoot them, they are way over here. Way too far away for you to shoot them. If I would have cranked hard right and just kept getting close to them. I just kept chasing just, them, kept exactly. uh, putting pressure. Exactly, yeah, just force a broad. Yeah. I mean, you should probably heard me say before, but like, if you, it's better to be the ship that's double sailing than the ship that's full raised. Reason being, because if you are full raised, the best case scenario you have is you have the other ship peel off. Best case scenario. If you're the ship that's full raised and you lose the broad, you can't do much. If you try to drop sails and run away, you have to build up your momentum, whereas the other ship that's double sailing already has all their momentum. So if I'm double sailing against a, a full raised ship and I win the broad, but when they try to drop, I'm still keeping up with them. I just drop my mid sail or so. I'm still with them the entire time because I have momentum and they don't. Or if I lose yeah. the broad, they can't catch up to me. I have momentum. I can drop my mid sail, turn out of the broad, I'm out. They have no momentum. If they try to chase me, they can't. They have to drop all three sails and then build up, build up the momentum. Whereas me, I'm already long gone. So being the ship that is being aggressive and has more speed than the other ship is usually beneficial because it allows you to uh, well, just take the advantage. If you lose a fight, great. Just peel off. You're safe. If you win a fight, great. You can take the advantage because you have the speed momentum. If a ship is full raised, they don't, their best case scenario is that they win the broad and you peel off and they're safe. 
So I would crank hard right so I can keep up the broad with purple rather than peel this way and go all the way back around. Now I have to reset this entire fight. Sure so it's not a bad call. It's, it's not like this lost you the game. However, in LBH, especially when there's five boats, and if you're the best team in there, like I said, less boats there are, the better chance you have of winning. So I, especially in a 1v1 yep. like this where there's no other ships nearby, always just push the engagement and try to get them to sink, try to make them do something. Because also, if you're able to demast them or somewhat, and another ship comes in, then normally a, a ship is going to go for the demasted ship and not the one that's full raised. So, anyways, oh, this happened. Except to show me, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That was you. Here, let's see. I wouldn't double raise this because here's what's happening this ship raised their sail, and so they're going faster than you. Now, it's yeah. not, I know I said it's better to go faster than the other ship, and that's true, but it's not necessarily, um, in this case, it's not bad that you raise because they have an advantage that they're going faster. It's bad because you can't get closer. So they're full raising like this, or they raise one sail, and they're, they're double sailing. You cannot catch up. If this team decides to just peel left, you can't catch up to them, which is exactly what happens. So you go forward here, you it's raise two it. sails. Which is great. You go past the island. This ship just runs away. They just turn left. And now they're gone. Now, if you had kept all sails dropped, would you have been closer? Yes. Would you have been able to like shoot them effectively? Probably not. But you'd be at least be able to be closer and push the distance. Also, you're on an island. So even though you were triple sailing and you had a lot of waves and bouncy waves, because you're next to an island, that's going to be negated the entire amount. So in this case, like I said, I always like to try to push the engagement as much as I can to force them to fight me. So in this case, I would yeah, you're keep... clearly more aggressive, right? You as... you try to be the aggressor at all times exactly. instead of being like, uh, yeah, exactly. Because then it pushes them into bad situations because they, they see a ship here and they see a ship here. So they're in the middle. If I push the engagement, yeah. they have to either take the fight with me or take the fight with this ship, plain and simple. OK. And so I'm forcing them to do Which something rather than just run away. And also, so like I said, I would have kept mid-sail dropped. That way I could just get closer. And then once the island comes through, I'll have calm waves. If this team decides to stick the broad with me, I'll solo raise mid while we're kind of behind the island. If they go away, I just get stay on cannons, crank the wheel hard left, and keep chasing. Mm -hmm. I said you raise all this, lose all your momentum, and then purple just peels off, and now they're gone. Now they're way too far away. So at this point, I would have, uh, you have two options. Um, the better option would be to harpoon left and go for this ship. Reason being, you can't really chase this ship anymore. They're circling around and they're just going to go keep going around and around and around. So you can't, even if, even though they're double sailing, even if you triple sail, it just takes so long to catch up to this ship, it, it's not worth it. So I would just crank hard <laughs> left and then harpoon left and go for blue right here. You can take a right side broad. If blue yeah. like cuts in or whatever, and like they keep this orbital like this, then eventually probably just going to come into you anyway. Either way. Don't chase the ship right here because it's just going to take you way too long. And there's an easier ship to go for right now that you can take with an instant broad. So I'd go for this ship. This is a common situation that'll happen is you try to chase someone, they'll peel off of you. So just go for the ship they're fighting or go for the, go for the ship that's easiest to go for. It's really that simple. So you can just get a quick sink. Don't, don't, if a ship is just purely trying to run away from you, don't fight them. Just go for a ship that is closer, or at least you can try to capitalize on so you can sink the bad ship first and then sink the ship that's running away from you later on. Yeah, that's already the mindset uh, switch because I, of course, let blue live here, as we all know. Yeah, I saw this. Uh, I was watching it. But yeah, so like this is what you did. You cranked hard left, went for this ship, and this is why it was good because this ship kept going with the orbital, and so you're able to just shoot them right now because they're going to full nose you, which is wonderful. <coughs> this happens, and you say go for purple, which is a bad call, but you know it already, which is fine. Yeah. And your team, your team, I heard, I watched this, I watched this whole first round, your entire team was questioning you, and as was I. Okay, okay. And my whole time was, uh, my whole team uh, was uh, questioning me here. Was very scared yeah, like I said, I guess, I got told kind of before. What, sorry? Yeah, oh yeah, Scarab yeah, Purple? Yeah, no, I heard it. Yeah, they were Scarab Purple, I'm not sure why, I mean, they were okay. But even, like I, like I told them when you're watching the Bilge VOD, this helm, just crack it. They're full nosing, right? This helm was either going to turn yeah, hard yeah, left or hard right. we just killed this ship here. Like, if we wanted to, Blue was dead here. Every Everybody knew that. I knew that as well. Yeah. If I wanted Blue dead there, that would have been dead. Exactly. This is also the main problem. Even that, here, uh, I, I feel like they, they might, they were so close to sinking just from like a few animals. Like, these guys could do nothing. I just didn't want to go for them, but it was a miscall. That's how it is. I will start playing uh, for killing the, the noob. 
<laughs> this is a different strategy. It'll be, it'll be. So this happens, you go for purple eventually, which is, at this point, you kind of have to go for purple, because if you turn for blue, purple's just gonna, you're gonna nose purple, so you have to, yeah. go, you have to go this way. Yeah, but I had the option to go for blue, of course. Exactly. I had the option. So now you have two options. This ship clearly is turning away from you. Clearly they're trying to run away, or else they would be taken abroad with you. So you have two options. Yeah. Well, these people are eventually going to drop sails. They're not just going to sit there for years and years. And you can't really demass them right now because they'll just catch it immediately. So demass is an option. So basically what you need to do, number one, you need to crank the wheel hard left or hard right and drop mid sail so you can speed in as close as possible before they drop sail. Remember, you have momentum, mm -hmm. right? They have to build it up. So the closer you get with your momentum, when they drop sails, you can keep up with them for a lot longer. For example, like if you are if you only have one sail down right now, you're moving real slow. So when they triple drop, they'll just speed out of there real quick. If you're already triple sailing and then they try to triple drop, you'll be right next to them. So you want to crank the wheel hard right drop mid sail and then the moment they drop sails you want to send borders you can either send borders or send chain shots right now it's a little too far away for chains just because they're turning off kind of weird angle i wouldn't bother with chains on this range so i just send borders and the reason why also because the closer you are the more time you have for your borders to make it off it's not a max range of board so drop all crank hard right and then the moment the moment they drop you send two and then possibly three borders if you don't think you can keep up with them. Like the difference between when you mm -hmm. send two and three borders is you'll send two borders when you need your build because you maybe might take a couple shots or yeah. you think you can catch up to the other ship. In this case, you're not gonna you don't have enough speed to do so. So I guarantee you you want to send three because because you're just not going to be able to catch up with them unless they get anchored. That's your only win, is if they get anchored, then you can catch up. So in that case, where the only way for you to catch up to them is if they get anchored, just, and, your boat's, and your boat's not going to get shot at, then send three. There's no reason not to. This happens, because yeah, also you're about to have win too, so if you drop mid sail, you can kind of be up here a little bit. Let's see what happens. You got sharks. Yeah, so if you were triple sun, you could be kind of over here with them and cranking hard, right? You could be way up here because you would have some wind and triple sailing. Mm -hmm. Right, so you're kind of back here, which isn't bad. It's not a bad position you're in right now. Um, but if they get megged, you got to crank the wheel hard, right? Because they're, cause they're, yeah. they're about to drop and go away, which, which you do eventually. I think it's a little too late. I mean, uh, what was it bad? The main problem is that you kept angle, but you could be closer. If you had cranked hard right earlier. Once that happens, if you crank yeah. hard right now, yeah. you would be a lot closer. And then you call for chains, which is not bad. In this case, in this case it's good because they're fully dropped. Once you see this and you you see chains not hitting, or you only see what? one or two masks go down, even if you saw all their masks go down, um, they're just a good team is just gonna catch them. They have no lower pressure. So a good team is gonna catch the mass real quick, repair and drop. So, so board. In, exactly, yeah. just send borders. Like your ship is completely fine. In this case, if they had a couple mass dropped, like if they had two or even three mass dropped, then I would say just send two people because you can catch up to them. Right? You just need to have some sort of pressure to prevent them from catching and re-dropping. Re so I'd send two borders if their mass are dropped. And then your bilge can stay with you shooting cannonballs, trying to get, get their mass down with you. Or if all their masts are up, like it is right now, send three borders. Because the only way that you can possibly sink this ship right now is if they get anchored. If you do not anchor them, they are going to run away and escape the fight. So go send borders to try and anchor them. You can't catch up to them at this point. That angle's not tight enough. Because so if you had been able to anchor them, because yeah, they got one mass down. So if you, if you had two, yeah, two borders, yeah, if you send three borders, you'd be able to anchor them real quick. Or pro probably, I mean, it's three people. It's it's not hard to drop an anchor when you have three borders. And so you'd be able to anchor them, bring your ship over, she right side, easy shots. Because that, that's just where it is. You're not, in LBH, you're not going to be able to sing people with naval. Because even 1v1s take a really long time against good crews. Because everyone's yeah. so on the ball. No one just sinks to random pressure. They have flex and build. It takes a long time. So because of that, in LBH, you don't have time. You have fi you have three other ships, usually, kind of circle you and pinch you. And so in that case, you don't have time to take a 10-minute 1v1. You have two minutes max before another ship starts coming and try to third party. So you got to win that fight quick. Only way to do so is to demass them so that the other ship's come in and shoot them or to send borders and anchor them either one works so in this case an lbh like just send that you just got to look when a ship is trying to run away you need to send a board you need to be ready to send borders the moment that you realize their masts are not going down you can't keep up the cannon pressure like if like if they were fully demasted here you don't need to send borders just keep shooting them you can send borders eventually but you don't need to but as long as their masts are up and they're yeah, able to run away from you're saying it's your only chance to make yeah. them stop. 
Exactly. Yeah, because exactly. yeah, like I said, because worst case, worst case scenario, all you send three people and they all miss. So be it. This ship will 100% be alive and well if uh, you don't do anything. If you send boarders, they might be able to do something. Worst case scenario, your team dies. So what? Your team, your boat's safe. Anyways, this happened. Yeah, that's true. Here, and you just kept going for purple, which is whatever. Um, so in this case, same thing here. Um, since you're going for purple and they're running away, just shoot high for mass, which you guys were kind of doing. But send a border too. Like, so shoot high for mass and send a border. Also, they're triple sailing. You're only double sailing. Let me see real quick. Why don't you raise this thing? I wouldn't bother raising mid because you your your goal right now is to get close to purple. The faster you yep. move, the faster you get closer to them. It, it's just that simple. And be, and because they're trying to run, because they're clearly turning right and going away from. If they were turning left and taking the the parallel, then sure, raise sails. Because they're turning right, they have the opportunity to just lower all sails and get away from you. So you got to be triple sailing to keep up with them because you're because you're you're going this way. Like you're you're taking the outside yeah, edge. That makes sense. They're going inside, so they have much less to turn. They have much less distance to go. It's like a. But what? you have to have your boys raise the sails mid broad, though. Like that's a given. Like if you if you don't raise here, then they will have to raise when you have the broad. So you take that. You take that L. Not necessarily. So it's like I mean, it's it's just like a NASCAR racetrack. The the inner lane you'll have less distance to cover than that if you go the outer lane yeah, the outer lane is way more yeah. so because you're going so you're on the outer lane so you can go faster because you have more distance to cover so yeah, that makes sense. you don't need to worst case scenario you can just raise mid by yourself but because you're taking the yeah. outer lane you're not going to have any danger of losing angle or having to double raise or whatever because you're on the outer lane and you have more of a, a wider broad because you're you're or you're behind them Anyways, if they turn left, yes, raise front mid because you have to, or else they're going to go in front of you or, or whatnot. In this case, it's a it's this good. This is a very common scenario that happens in almost all the LBH games when you're aggressive. Teams will run away from you, so you got to be very yeah. apt and smart about how to catch up to teams that want to run away. In this case, yeah, that drop makes off. sense. This Leave happens. everything dropped to get closer. Exactly, because yeah, see, like this, like if you had midsole dropped, you'd been fine. You'd be up here, you'd be closer to them, keeping up distance. You have momentum too. They just dropped their midsole. You'd have momentum, and so also uh, you could probably set a couple borders as well. In this case, as long as you have angle and you're still in boarding range, I'd keep sending a couple more cannonballs. Once you realize they're about to get out of boarding range and their mass still aren't down, then then I'd send the borders. Um, once they're about to leave boarding range, yeah, it's, it's, but in this case, mm -hmm. I you can just crank hard right. I'd keep on cannons. Uh, if I was at midsole drop, I'd be on cannons, crank the wheel hard right, and then if their mass go down, great. If not, then send borders. Again, this is kind of just far chain shots. <coughs> kind of hard to hit, yeah. but it's fine. Again, I mean, the only thing I'd say is, like, don't... In this case, you can't really send borders because blue's right here, so they could just start shooting you. Uh, but assume this is just a 1v1, uh, then send, send the borders to blue, purple. Now they're out of boarding range, so you can't really do anything, so it's, it's kind of over. This happens. Really yeah, they're out again. They can't do anything. Just don't go for blue. There's no reason. Look what's happening. Just trust me on this. Purple is competing. And then here I would just leave earlier because blue's here and blue is behind you right now. And so at any moment, Blue could just start shooting. You're the only ship Blue can shoot right now. Blue, Blue, yeah. even if Blue wanted to shoot Purple, they can't. They don't have angle to. So the only ship they have in their peripheral is you. So I would leave since you're just full nosing, or since you're since your back still, you can't do it. You can't do anything to them. And they just have back still down. And I think they start shooting here. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So like, you're just kind of taking. It's not bad. You're not going to sink to this. It's not a bad thing. They don't have any. I did expect them to do this though. Oh, I was no. like, I just saved your life four times, and they decided to take the broad to the us anyways. That was unexpected in my book, but yeah, it's fair game, of course. You can do that. Yeah, like I was saying, a ship doesn't care if you save them. The ship that you stole the kill from, they're gonna remember. The ship that the yeah, ship that you saved, they're not gonna care. They're, they oh, they they're safe. Was they're very alive. mad. He said me after he was very mad. Nice. He said that he uh, was never targeted this much in an LBH match as he felt this time. Hey, you did target him a lot. Let's see though. So this is an interesting situation. So here's interesting. So this ship's going this way. This ship's going this way. So this ship. Yeah. Or sorry. Yeah. This ship's the outside. So you have two options. You can either um, try to just nose for a little while. 
I can go Passion on this way and have left side broad. Now you're real close to them, and then they can't really escape. Or you can just crank hard right and go around the island. Yeah. Going here is not bad because you can harpoon, go right or left or whatnot. Now here, I think they anchor, so it actually works for you going close to the island. The problem with this is that this was a good team. Like, purple, before this one, let's just watch this frame. So purple went this way. So purple just, like, if purple just full raised right now, or mm -hmm. I guess just kept these masks down, got away from blue, just kept going straight. You're just full nosing them. And yeah, so, they would have had a option to get out with the harpoon then, though. No, 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 yeah, that's true. That's what I was saying. Like, that's why it's okay to go this way because you can kind of go around the island if need be or harpoon around or whatnot. Yeah. So I don't mind doing this yeah. way. And luckily, they do this. So, yeah, at this point, you just want to go way in. Mm -hmm. what, what you do? And then let's see. Uh, yeah. And then let's see. Honestly, I'm more impressed with the purple cell, man. This guy's avoiding all the targeting. It's still trying to sink blue. As this happens, yeah. let's see. So, okay. Whatever. So, you made the call for go for blue. What happened? I made the call for kill blue, which is fine. I would crank the wheel hard left right now. Cause it's because of them uh, at, uh, of them shooting us last time. So, I was kind of pissed. I was like, whatever. The plan <laughs> that uh, the plan to sink purple does not work. Like, they keep getting out. So, whatever. Let's just sink blue. I think I kind of said it here. You're true, no. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, you did. It was a good call to sink blue because you kind of needed to at least sink one of the ships. I was saying the air point you want to crank yeah. hard left because you raise sail, which is fine. But, like I was saying, if you're not moving, then you're not moving towards the other ship. You're just sitting yeah, I was scared of purple here, though. Like, if you go full left here, then purple has like a nice uh, broad on us, right? I would say that, to. except tri it's that purple's triple sailing, just, so I'm not too worried about them. If purple, okay. yes, if purple was full raise or something, just kind of sitting here. Or maybe one sail down. Yes, I'd be a little worried about that. And yes, four reason would be the option. In this case, Purple's going, they're triple sailing out. They can't yeah. turn fast. Even if they anchor turn, you're still <laughs> going to make that turn before they do. So I'd, I would just crank the wheel hard left. And then, like I said, a team like this, okay. they have two options. They're going to fight you or they're going to fight Purple. If they fight you, you're chilling. Just keep shooting cannonballs. If they decide to turn right and go for Purple, you need to send borders. So in this case, you got to be able to send, make sure you're ready to send borders here. Because you're in boarding range right now. Yeah. I don't think yeah, you I should do. need to send borders more often. This happens. Blue runs away. And now they definitely leave. If you sent borders, you might have been able to anchor them or turn the boat yeah. or do something. Instead, you do nothing, and now they're escaped. Now there's still three ships alive. But it, it continues to be the same case that I don't really care about sinking blue here. Like, mm -hmm. I, I will change that, but, like, it doesn't bother me. I've already let them go four or five times. It's, it's not my objective. Like, my objective is to sink these fuckers right here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it was a bad move. It was a bad move. But that's why I never like while well, well, we just we just seal past and do nothing. Like I I have no intention to actually commit to blue. Yes, fine. It is fine as long as that's your intention. Um, it's okay. Like there yeah, are it was it was definitely my intention. I just think the intention was wrong. Like what I've learned from you, the biggest thing is send borders. Uh, use your uh, triple seal more often to get closer. Uh, especially with the track, uh, the race track, in and out, and the most important is just the whole idea that I every LBH match I play, I try to let the noobs live. That has been every LBH match so far, and I will just stop doing that. If you say that you always clap the guy who is down bad, or the almost always, I should say, then that is that is a good that, that that's an easy switch to make, you know. Exactly. Yeah, like what I'll do usually is like when I fight, like when there was a pestilence or somewhat who's in the lobby, they're a pretty good team. I would yep. intentionally try to go for them. Now, if they kept running away or there's a ship chasing me or whatnot or just wanted to go for me, I'm not going to hard target them. If there's a better opportunity, like if I like if pestilence is yellow and I'm blue or whatever, I'll try to chase yellow and I see yellow maybe cut through some teams and then there's a ship that's fully demasked to get shot by someone else, I'll leave it, right? I'll let the ship that's fighting fight yeah. their cool. I'll keep uh, chasing pestilence. But, like, if another ship is coming in and they're about to third party me or whatnot, or another ship's just chasing me for no reason, I'll just raise all sails and shoot the ship that's chasing me. If so, if a team's just yeah. running away from me or they're not letting me get close to pinch them, I'm not going to wait 30 minutes to have a five boat final zone. I'd rather have a 1v1 with them or a three boat final zone or, or whatnot than having to have five boats, which yeah. is pure chaos. So, yeah, I'll go for the better ships initially. And if they don't let me or they just keep running away or something happens, I'll try to just diminish the amount of ships in the zones that way it's not so yep. stressful 
Because, like I said, if you're, also, if you're a good team, there is a, a, party, yeah. a small there is a small difference between your team and my team, and that is that when I'm in a match like this, I'm not convinced that we win the one v one. And when you are in a match like this, you are probably always convinced that 99 out of the 100 ships you can take them in a one v one. Like but, that is a that is a big difference, right? That's true. It definitely does help when you have a good helm. Like when I was helming for Memento Mori or whatnot. Yeah, I had to play a whole lot safer. I was not playing aggressive. Yep. I was not triple sailing. I was not going for kills. I was avoiding fights at all costs because I knew we could not win the 1v1. So I just played for yep. placement. And that's fine. But your team's not bad. Like if you were e oh, even, know, even know, still, even still with, with LBH specifically, you don't need to win the 1v1. It's a five boat. You just got to get the pinches. And the easiest way to yep. get pinches, True. like I said, good teams, well, I'll just keep bringing up Pestilence because they're a very or a team that we had to fight quite a bit, their main strategy was they would just kind of full raise at an island and just sit there. The main problem with that strategy they had was, like I said, I would double sail. So worst case scenario, I, I lose the broad, I leave. They're, they can't send borders. They don't have yeah, any momentum. They can't leave. Exactly, they can't leave. But if I win the broad, they can't leave. They can't they can't drop sails. I'm I'm with them the entire time. And that was the main reason yeah. why I won all the time. Pestilence, they were a pretty good team. I think... We had a better broad in most cases. We had a couple fields at one point, and we still beat them, even though I think objectively we were the worst team, simply because the times that we were losing abroad, I would I was able to leave, and the times we were winning abroad, they weren't able to leave. So you're right. Yeah. LV1s definitely are a little bit different, and when you have a really bad team, yes, you have to play a whole lot more safe. In this case, your team's not bad, and it's LBH. So like I said, even if you're scared of losing, just get the double sale. Worst case scenario, you just leave and you're good. Best case scenario, you're able to just chase them down, send some borders, easy win. Would you uh, continue? Yeah, so you also continue to double sail in a 1v1 in LBH half the time? Um, no, no. Because of zone, if it's the final zone, no. Not usually. I can sometimes, but to be honest, it's more just flirting with death you can if you want like if you're on the outs if you're on like the outskirt and i know i can probably keep the angle or not go out of bounds or just only go to bounds for 50 seconds not the full 60 i can like to try and get closer to someone but in most cases yeah. it's just a 1v1 like you can just always give them your back or whatnot yeah true but i mean yeah no, you're, i get you're, what you're saying but yeah you're not like especially leave with these 1v1s i don't double sell i'll always single yeah. sell I'll, I'll drop the second sale yeah. if i think get uh infinite angle but besides that just single sell that'll be just a lot different and this, this is good. by the way. No, but this is fucked. So the fucked up part is remember that brought earlier when they were triple sailing away and you said send borders here. We used yeah. like five chain shots there. And that is why right now we only had that one chain shot. If we had our chain shots here, as we should have, because I should have called for them, mm -hmm. this ship would have been fucked. I was so mad they got out here. So they get fully deed except for the mid. I hit the mid myself. And for some reason, despite the fact that I called out that we need to hit mid, it just didn't go down. And well, that, that the rest is history. That's how they get out there. Yeah, it happens. There's some bad stuff that happens sometimes. So here's I'll just see what I saw with cannons. Like like you're right. If they were fully deed, it'd been easier, hundred percent. Your team didn't shoot any cannonballs, it happens. The main thing I see here, well number one, y'all gotta be at the tops. And this close range of abroad, they don't have time to react yeah. to dodge cannonballs. Now you did kill one, which was great, um, and because you weren't really shooting anything, you were like shooting a whole lot of mid decks. So this is, that's a main cannon shot, I'll say. That's a lower, cool. Uh, that's a mid deck. That's a lower, I believe. That's a lower, I believe. Let's see. That's a top, so not bad there. Let me see real quick. Thank you. So I, I, and then you try to hit mass, which is fine. I don't mind it. Uh, trying to mask. I mean, you, you kind of have to. It's not bad. But the fact that one guy is able to shoot when you guys have four people on cannons is yeah, that's Monka. That's Monka. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying over. Uh, I would say shoot oh, top decks there more than my lowies. Yeah. Yeah, because in one v one League of Thieves, lower decks win games, no question. It it just does. Yeah. In LBH <laughs> yeah. though, when there's another ship in play that can pinch you, getting your mass down and getting fully deed is way worse than having lowers because you're just gonna get pinched. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you have four, even if you have four people down below bucketing, if you have two sides of holes, yeah, you can't survive. Die. Exactly. Yeah. So, exactly. Exactly. So I wouldn't bother too much with lowers necessarily, especially when they're, okay. when, they're, when they're this range. Just hit tops, get their mass down. Yeah, and they're getting see. fucked here. Exactly. Don't forget that. Like, they're getting completely fucked here. Like, they're absolutely fucked. Exactly. One seal down and they're dead. 
It's like, yeah, just get all their sales down, and then Blue can come in, and uh, hit, they hit that. You were hitting yeah. some lowers, which is fine. You were kind of spread them out, which is great. It's not bad. I'd say Thank just you. get the mass down first, and then hit the lowers afterwards. That way, because the yeah, only way these good. people that's can't... Good. Yeah, he's like, the League of Thieves, they can't really run away in League of Thieves. It's not too common for them to do so. LBH, super common for someone to run away. Really common. Mm -hmm. So just stop them from being able to run away. This happens. Get kind of lucky with the balls that they just don't, they just don't hit you. Or that they, they just miss everything. Quite nice. This happens. Let's see. And like I said, this time... So at this point, I would do two things. Number one, I tell my team to drop front and mid. Because this... And borders. Where is blue at? Get, get me. Is this blue? Where's, the rest of Where's blue? Depends where blue is. I should have sent borders here when the mid oh, kept missing, blue. but oh. I was hoping it was. Yeah. Never mind. You cannot uh, drop front. I lied. So in this case, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. I just just crank hard left and then yeah, send both borders. Crank hard left. That way you can avoid the broad with blue. Or at least stay kind of far yeah. away from them. And then I would I would probably raise I would probably raise back so make sure I don't go too far into blue and then just send borders. Only mid. Only mid. Only mid. Only mid. So you kind of sit here, which is not bad. I mean, you drop front, which is interesting. Yep. But the reason why it's risky is because if blue decides to go for you, you can't do anything. Yeah. <clears throat> I full turn here, though. I'm trying to get on. See, I'm trying to get on the other side. Yes, fine. No, so no you're, that, good. you're good. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you so did it. Pinned. Exactly, you did. You just realized it too late. Like I said, you could have done this back here. But mm -hmm. so you, you drop front and then turn and then. Oh right yeah, you right. say like do it immediately. Yeah. Yeah, because well, I assume the reason okay. why you did this yeah. was because you saw blue over here. If you just looked at blue yeah, at the boss. beginning, would have yeah, been a problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, this happens. Like I said, I would drop mid sail because it's very simple. Yeah. Your goal is to get closer to the other ship. You cannot do so. Absolutely. Yeah. If that's the case, just drop all and get as fat, get cl as close as possible, as quickly as possible. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm. Sc oh, I do drop it. Okay. But a bit late. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit too late. Unfortunately, also because you went hard right, then hard left, or yeah, you kind of, they kind of they got wind on the spin still, mm -hmm. kind of just ran away. And so at this point, they're, yeah. not, you're, they're out of border range. So it's kind of too yeah. much. Also, but I should have sent borders earlier for sure. Yeah. I just need to send more borders. I'm always scared to do so. Okay, let me see what you did here. Full raise, interesting. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get, catch them, you know? By being the uh, inner circle. Yes, good. Yeah, yeah, sure. The problem with this is now you're putting yourself in a situation where you have to fight blue. Now, if blue yeah. full raised and turned and just like held purple right here, then this would be good. Then yeah. They wouldn't be in a pinch. However, what's going on, blue's going to go in front of you, and then yeah. purple might, it's going to shoot you from long range here. Because right now, you are the only ship these two ships can shoot. You're the only one. And so you're yep. just going to be shot up by both ships. Worst case scenario, purple just full raises and goes behind you. You can still leave. Like, it's not bad. You can still leave the situation. You just can't sink any of these ships. Yeah, that's true. Now, blue turns I think that's hard what's left. going so to happen here. Now, blue actually turns hard left, so this actually works out. And then you crank hard left, which is what you need to do, because blue's going that way. So this actually works yep. out. Do this. This is where we pin them, I believe. You need to raise all. You need to raise all. You are flying. What in the world? Okay, so should have known this. Should have known this. Yeah. this? Yeah. So at this point, I, I I would full raise right now. I tell my team to raise mid, raise yeah. front. I keep back down maybe, or if I'm gonna be play real risky, then I'll I'll tell them to raise. Then I'll raise back so right now. But I just kind of raise a little bit too late. Also, this guy's on cannons for some reason. So then this happens, uh, and then so now, I mean, yeah, this is the fucked up part. Yeah, they blunderbombed us into a nose. This was very monka, because I'm not going to be happy here. No, I can imagine. But yeah, so this is the this is the biggest problem you'll run into. You just have to realize how fast you're going, so you, this doesn't happen. Yeah, we go like, too fast here. Yeah. Exactly, because cool, you it's okay to go like this wasn't bad to go fast, and you just have to realize how fast you're going and be wary of the other ship because. Yeah. Another ship, if they just full raise and turn on you, well, they can turn faster with their full raise than if you're full dropped. And you have to raise your sails too, so they'll be on cannons sooner. Yeah. So it's not bad to drop all sails here. You should be more wary of the other ships who raise them faster. Yeah, I should have raised it earlier. Like I raised, but too late. Yeah. And this is where Monka shit happens. We should have been dead here. Because right. look what happens. A lot of mess. I would leave them. Okay, so here's the thing. You crank the wheel right, which is whatever. You have, you have to do this. Kind of watch those cannons, which you were doing. Once you have cranked it, okay, kind of a little slow there. It's fine. So once you've cranked it, 
you got to leave. You kind of just yeah. got to leave. So I know you want to yeah. crank harder, right? Which is understandable. Yeah. But once yeah. this happens, or sorry, once you once I've gotten past yeah. you, the only thing that's really saving you right now is this mid mass. That's it. That's kind of it. Really thin pole. I think it's shoot you anyway. Yeah. But you just want to crank as hard as possible. Because you're, you're going to go behind him now, so you're fine. But so I should have committed to the last bit, right? You yeah. say, like, hide? Yeah, you should have hide. Just go to, go to back mast, even go down below to captain's quarters or whatnot. Just hide in there, because a good yeah. team, if you're nosy, is going to target wheel. So you have to leave before that happens, yeah. or you're just going to get rolled, like you do here. And there's like yeah. there's, no, there's nothing you can do at this point. You had to you just had to leave before this happened. I'm also yeah. So and, and this happens. Because, like, see, now, if you were alive, you could crank the wheel hard right now if you wanted to. Because there's no pressure. Yeah. It said you try, to, you try to stick it in the moment that they're going to shoot a uh, cannon or helm. Yeah. Also, you were just staying above above water for... I'm not sure why. They're clearly shooting you. Even back here, they're shooting you. And you just stay above the water. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just fucking focusing on what, what's happening with our ship, but I should just be below water. Yeah, you know, lead right. You, you should be dead. The fact that I don't die here is... It's nice. Yeah, you should have died. But yeah, like just I should have died, yeah. It's not bad to tell your team what to do, because when you get knocked out of the boat, you need to tell your team what direction yeah, to yeah, the boat, yeah, which yeah. is fine. I always do that. Leave. This happens, so I would just crank. At this point, we're kind of hurting a little bad. Purple's trying to chase us. Yeah. I crank hard left. Snake Island, I'm you can go off. to. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'm yeah, giving yeah. off. I like Snake Island. Uh, Snake Island's my favorite. Perfect. Yes, what are you going to do? You can just go all, all the way over here and be fine. So yeah, just yeah. do what you're doing. Crank hard, yeah. hard left. Help the team yeah. raise the master. chilling. Just reset the fight. Fuck, what oh, did I just do? I think tried to pray that I thought it was broken. Oh, okay. It looked like I was just standing there with a blanket head, but it's just because it's fast. This is probably where the match ends, because this match is going to end soon, so it should be here. Let's see, this is Watch you. you have to show me what the fuck I should have done in the last match, by the way, Kai Joy. Because uh, yeah, <laughs> I got fucking, <laughs> I got fucking yeah. rolled. It's not bad. Yeah, I know. This one. So we're not bad, kind of trying to go for the ship. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very. I think we are against wind here, which I'm very sad about. Yeah. Because we would have been there already. Like I was complaining about that. Luckily, this team actually just full nose you. I thought this team was gonna go here and just shoot you and keep you out of bounds. Luckily, they just full nose you, which is wonderful. But you yeah. need to watch the map specifically because I heard a couple of times you're telling your team where you are. Which is not bad. Some helms do it. The main problem is you're taking someone off of cannons to go look at the map. Secondly, mm -hmm. you're they're never going to be able to tell you exactly where you are. They can say, oh, like you're a third of the square to the east. But like how close is that? Yeah, that's so, what I let him do. Yeah. Perfect. So like, but he, I, you, you're telling me do it yourself. Like I, you always, go. I always check the map myself. The only time I wouldn't is if I had to be on wheel and like we were out of bounds and I had to know. All, and all I cared yeah. about was which direction is the fastest to go for me to get in bounds. So that's all I cared about. Yep. I didn't care how far away, how far away zone. I didn't care about the square distance. I cared about what direction do I need to sell this boat to get in bounds. That's all I cared about. That's the only time yep. I'd ask for help. Other than that, I would check the map Understand. myself so I knew yeah. exactly where I was in in the zone. So like here, so it's closing. So it says closing in sixty seconds. So you have time. Now here is not bad because like your team's not really hurting that bad, but like there's nothing to shoot at. Like I was saying, they can never give you a detailed explanation of where you need to go. Only you yeah, can actually see it. So yeah, like here, because, because they're full nosing you, I would turn the wheel straight so my team can can get angle, and I would go check the map real quick because she just said the uh, zone's gonna close in sixty seconds. So you have a minute, and this sea post. Yeah. In this direction of the sea yeah, coast is the north is easy. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Is north so, is easy. Exactly. So you know you're pretty close to zone because you're right next to sea post. You have to know yeah. how close. So it's not like you're like way out there and you have to get closer. You can just kind of go straight and relax for a minute, and then go yeah. see where zone is. And you said he cranked hard right. And so your team doesn't still have angle. Luckily, this team doesn't punish you for this. So you're just yeah. chilling. Hey there, fuck, hey there, fuck this, how you win. Did I finally get purple where I want them to be? Like, if this happens, I would... I, I would, full race yeah. because of the yes, circle, you know? Yeah, it's good, yeah, this, yeah. Good, it's good to full race here, it's perfect. I would just say check the map, because you're still not sure exactly whether you're in zone or not, or not sure what corner okay. you're in, or exactly what's happening. That's one thing I would say different. Your team's on cannons, yeah. so you don't you don't need to be on cannons. It's helpful. I think my build told me uh, that we are in, though. Like, uh, because I, that's that's how we did it so far. Don't go north of Stephen's spoils. Okay, yeah, see? You will get, you will get angle here. 
You can put the nose to the south. You, thank you, thank you. He's like, you are, you are in. You will, you will, nice. That sounds like it. This yes. happens, and then you shoot borders, which is fine. Hey, uh, space, like so you said, you yourself. Yeah. So, by the way, this is literally what you just said. He said I was inbounds, and we were not inbounds, and I was mad at him for that, but I should just have clear checked myself. Yeah, BOB. That, that's what YouTube. happened here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that was sometimes. That's why I always check myself. That I don't have to worry about it. I know exactly what part of my, zone, my ship is inbound. Also, just know yeah. you need to zoom into the map all the way to know whether you're inbound or not. Because like if you're zoomed out, yeah. you're both actually kind of bigger on the map. So as long as you know that, some people don't. Uh, anyways, yeah. so here, I would not crank hard right. Uh, you have borders. These ships are probably going to sink. Uh, I, because mm -hmm. zone just close. So you have another 60 seconds to get inbounds. Sea post, as you know, zone is right here. You're real close to it. Yeah. So a very common strategy is, in this case, because you're saying, if you crank hard right, you're nosing this ship. So if this ship yeah. was smart, they would just kind of full raise and wait for you. Um, and also shoot shoot this ship. So what you can do instead, just go around the sea post. Go, just go... Where is it? Just go, just, just go that way. North? No, just go this yeah. way. And then just harpoon around the sea post and get, and get back in balance. Oh, yeah. Very common. Just like go around the sea post. It happens a lot. Like if you're chasing someone, okay. just wrap around the sea post real quick. It makes it real easy, really easy to do. You, harpoon can't break because it's not on the beach. It's on this rock. Yeah, that's really a good easy. one. Yeah. So I do that because the problem you're doing here is number one, you have to go through this ship that's still sinking. That's one problem. Yeah. Two, this ship, has <laughs> yeah. first, this ship has first broad on you. And your team is not yeah. back yet. So... You're going to ram a ship, you don't have first broad, and your team's not back. So you're just putting yourself in a bad situation where you could have just gone this way and been fine. Now, do you sink here? Probably not. The ship's kind of far away, probably can't capitalize. You can still have more room to leave, but there's no reason to put yourself in this situation in the first place. Yeah, I get what you're saying. This happens, you get snipes. Personally, I wouldn't take this fight. If, if I know I'm at a disadvantage off the rip, I'm just going to leave and just reset real quick. Because I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to have to fight. I'm just, just scared rendered. in the last zone, honestly. Like I don't feel comfortable in the bounds of the last zone. I will be honest with you. Like in my head, I have no rhythm in the last zone. I mean, like that that the last zone uh, fucks with my head a bit. That's true. I mean, you get used to it. Like you have. Yeah, a exactly. Lot like of I, I have only okay. five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I only have like five or six LBH matches, so I still need to get used to the last one, uh, for okay. sure. As you're yeah. used to, you just get used to like you have a lot of room in one square because the LBH yeah. gone through a lot of iterations. Uh -huh. Had a lot, it's had a lot of different zones. It used to be by uh -huh. Pickeroon. Used to be by the uh, where the NIL where the League of Thieves one v ones are. There's a three by three grid. It was mm -hmm. Mutant Rocket and whatnot, and there were, it, they had it up by Smuggler's Bay at one point, and now they're here. So the zones changed a whole lot. It used to be by Shrine as well, actually. But anyways, so um, you get used to it. You have a lot of room in the one v one, and you have sixty seconds to get it back in bounds. It's not a hard lock. You're out. You're out. You have a ton of grace period so yeah that's true and that's why also if you look at the map yourself you know exactly where your ship is like you can't rely on your team to tell you when you're trying to be aggressive here that's why you look at the map yourself yeah so here i would just okay. you just rammed a ship there might be a board in the water because you just got sniped and this ship has first broad and you're, you're now your team is all back which is great i would just leave real quick watch the board yeah, yeah, them. and be fine so you do this and now you're watching for a border which if you just left wouldn't be a problem um, now yeah, there's this border here. Also, the border defense is interesting because you're just kind of going back and forth, which I would. Yeah, do. I just wasn't sure if he was even here. Like I, and he wasn't, right? I'm watching for somebody who's not here. By the way, that this what you said about the guy, yeah, the guy who sniped. You know, I, I just couldn't find him. That's why I went like that. That's fine. You know, I know I, I wasn't talking about um, watching the ladder. I'm talking about you just running back and forth across great for no reason. Just sit on the wheel and hop back and forth. So you can see okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that normally. I do that normally. I was just scared. Yeah, I know what you mean. So when this happens, do this. Watch border. I mean, eventually you make the call. He's just not there anymore, which is fine. I need to shoot cannons, which is cool. Uh, I'd just say lead more. That's fine. Just slightly more. Hmm? Yeah, you're, in the, you're in the middle of their boat. You need to lead, get the front of their boat. You're in the middle, 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 middle. Let's see. There's not a bad helmet, it's just a 1v1, so it's not bad. I just say, when it's 1v1 helmet, all you can really do is just work on your cannons. Which, like I said, just hit, yeah. the, hit, just hit the front of their boat more. 
because also it's kind of your job to hit main cannon kind of and just hit front lowers you're kind of the middle yeah yeah because yeah. here's the thing like in, in a good fight their flex and build are down below so in the middle of the boat does nothing unless you're in mid, mid lowers you're gonna have helm on this cannon main cannon here so you want to be hitting the front of the boat because that's your job yep because you're on that side of the boat Anyways, i hit front boat. closer but i'm not i think i'm not comfortable like here to always hit front you know that's just the issue otherwise i would yeah, I mean, you can, but the thing is, you have, well, your flex and main cannon are probably, or main cannon probably gonna hit some back lowers, but he's probably gonna hit some helm, yeah. back lowers, and maybe some mids. Flex gonna hit mids all day. So you have to hit fronts. That's your yeah, that's only good, job. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. It's, yeah. it's not, all, you, all you have to do is lead more. That's it. Like, it's, like you have the right yeah. angle. You're hitting your shots, but this cannonball, you can just, you can just watch it. This cannonball hits by helm, which is not bad. You yeah. hit the helm, but you need to hit over here. So just lead yeah, slightly true, more. Yeah, true, true, true. Just lead slightly more. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You will see that when we get close, I will start hitting the fronts. Yeah. So then I do call it out. That's true. Well, that's why good teams are good, because they're able to just follow the part they're supposed to hit from long range. They're not only like, oh, yeah, we're close exactly. range, time to hit my spot. It's like, no, they do it the entire time. Yeah. So there's so just so many different spots they're hitting at all times. It also makes the builder's life hard. You have to call flex down sooner. Which is, yeah. I mean, I mean, as you know, because you do in close range rods, if you hit the same hole 50 times in a row, it's still yeah, it one does hole. Nothing. Exactly. Yeah, still it one does hole. nothing. It's a tier 20. Okay, I still need to lead more here. That's fine. Those are all lowers. are not bad. So, okay. let's see. That's a border right side. Toasty snipe him right side. I hit him. Quite blunder. Toasty, give me a bucket. Give me a bucket. Bucket now. Bucket now. Bucket now. What are you... Okay. There's a lot of things happening. Um, so... <laughs> I don't know how we went second deck here, we'll be honest. Alright, so you sniped him, which is fine. You told him to snipe him. Yeah, I wanted to quickly, uh... Yeah, it's fine, it wasn't bad. So this happens, trying to snipe him, doesn't work. I mean, you can kind of rush the shot, which is fine. Only thing I'd say to do differently with this, it's not bad that you call him the double snipe, that's actually smart. The main problem is once you go here, you try to snipe him and he misses, which happens. I would swap to my blunder real quick and try to shoot him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's not now yeah. because he was funny boarding. And so if he did get on this peg, he can jump over your boat and start shooting you. Luckily, he falls off, has to go down, down the ladder. So it works. You have time to reload your sniper. You didn't even, yeah. you didn't even consider yeah. it as an option. That's which is the main problem. That he, would, that he would get on. Exactly, yeah. which, which almost kills yeah, you. Yeah, I, I know he, what you mean. Because he's walking. Yeah. He's, he's funny boarding. Yeah. Now, luckily the boat tilts back so it doesn't let him. Uh, but if he just funny boarded that way, well, it's kind of over. So yeah. shoot your sniper, just immediately, immediately swap, swap to blunder, just in case something happens. Then you, if yeah. something happens, you can reload sniper. So it wasn't bad that you reloaded it here because it worked out. Also, you just kind of rushed the shot for no reason. He's not yeah, I did. Yeah. He just misses. And this happens, switch to that, shoot him, he dies, which is great. Okay, now you need to get down below. So you clearly hear your team saying, I need a bucket. I think that was a border. Let's see. Let's, 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 let's listen. Let's, let's listen to how, how urgent the build sounds. I hit him. But if it's only Toasty, right? Bucket now, bucket now, bucket now. He said, no, like, yeah, kill the border first. But after you kill him, you gotta immediately go down below. Immediately. Okay. Your team clearly is hurting. So go help him just in case something happens or back, there's a backlash yeah. happening or whatnot. You have time to do so. You're like, your build, it was very much bucket now, bucket now, bucket now. Very clearly you're hurting. So just go down below real quick just in case something happens. And you go back yeah, down, you go back, sure. back up top. I killed him. Border dead. Luckily, okay, it sounded kills. like it didn't really matter. Yeah, we're a, few a second. That's a second border. Yeah, but I, I get what you're saying. Like, just in case, right? In case of a backsplash. One more. See here, yeah. I do my job. I think with the front lowers. You're fine. I mean, no. The main thing, the reason why, is because you're standing. Because the build just standing here. You're standing here. This is an easy backsplash moment. So yeah. So yeah, may maybe true. one backsplash ruins it. I killed him. So I'll go down below real quick. I wouldn't go all the way down. I'll just kind of bucket at stairs real quick. Maybe two buckets, just see what happens. And then, but then yeah, he, sure. he, but he said go up. Now he said go up, so it's fine. But there's yeah. a border that ha there's a border right here that you just don't see, I guess. Yeah, we're a yeah. few holes. So let's see what happens. Maybe he makes it on. Oh no, you missed. Luckily. I'm patching last This way you win, this way you win. This way you win. This way you win. I still have my bombers, by the way. Yeah, hurt. You gotta crank the wheel more, right? Morning. Gotta lose angle. 
This is no. Scary. Don't like losing angle. Ain't happening. Well, I guess they just. They you would crank the wheel right there, even though you still have angle. You're not losing it. If they cranked hard, if their boat was turned more right, you would have lost angle. Look how close they are. No, yeah, yeah, I know. Like no, like they're the first. They for some reason they just go away from me. I guess they're maybe their helm got knocked off or something. But look, they're real close to you right here. They're kind of real close. Then okay. now, they're back, now they're back. Now they're back here. They're there and they're back here. So they're just further away. If they had cut yeah. right, they would have gotten behind you because yeah, you're just true. not turning fast yeah. enough. But then he, I would be in time. Don't you think I would be in time with the wheel if he starts turning? Then I can still do it. Well, I thought he was going to turn right, but he didn't. Luckily, okay, he's yeah, 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 yeah. Because here it's kind of hard. You can, it's a bit, you can kind of tell he's going away now, but it's hard to tell you whether he's going right or left. So yeah, true, it worked out. Yeah. You, you, kept, you kept angle, so it worked out fine. I'm saying that I think if he did, because he, he has wind right here, or he's about to have wind. And yeah, so if he, yeah, he, could hard, have, right, he could have done something, right? That's what you're saying. Exactly, yeah, he could exactly. have fucked me. Like if he was cranking yeah. hard right, his, his sail would have caught wind because he's going to turn into it and got behind you. Now, luckily, he didn't turn yeah. right, so it worked out. I'm thinking that if he did, you you wouldn't have had enough time to get back here and turn the wheel fast yeah. enough. Or if you did, you, don't, you only have like middle or back holes and not front. Yeah. So it works out because they just go away from you for some reason. I guess their helmet knocked off or something. I think their boat was to seed. And that's what they turned on. Now they overturn. That's what they said. Interesting. Eric goes well. Eric goes well. That was good. Let's see. So this, your job as helms is as close as possible. Yeah. Assuming you're because you have three people on, so you gotta be ready. Because if they get anchored, you gotta make sure your boat's on there, ready to go. So I am. I am. Cool. Let's do this. I sank. Easy. So this, so so this was a fine border call. I do this. They try to run away. They just. Um. I don't mind early board. He just kind of misses, which kind of sucks. This happens. <laughs> yeah, I thought about the very much pressure, just it didn't shoot. That's why I went for it. Okay, no, but you bad. are very. I need to send borders more often. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the finisher board was yeah. great. They sank. Uh, they had a lot of pressure. So it was good. Cause yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, if a team is peeling off, it means they're probably lose, they're losing the broad. So send borders to capitalize. Yeah. On. It works out. They sink. Let's see. Second match. So second match, we get a draw. Because of the same thing, I, I don't want to sink blue. Actually, never mind, I don't want to sink red. That's the exact same thing happens. The team and this that got time it comes place? to draw. The team that got, you don't want to sink the team that got last place? I see. I guess, I mean, yeah, I guess it's understandable. It's yeah, they were bots to me, second. but I, I think I should just kill them, you know? It would have been second place, at least, and maybe first. Definitely good. Let's see what happens. This happens. But yeah, like I said, just a very common thing I'll do. I'll do this. Sometimes I'll anger turn if I have wind, turn faster. But then once I make the turn, I just I, I just drop all. Drop all, turn into wind. Just to force the engage on someone. Yeah. Which you do eventually. You do drop those. Which is fine. Let's see. Same. This happens. <laughs> I wouldn't raise mid. I just I would lower it because I'm gonna go. For, I would go for this ship personally, just because yeah. they're, the, they're the easy target to go for this ship. So I'd lower mid. I think we are right. No, I mean you might be. I'm saying like I I would get close. So I would. Yeah, keep, you, I would yeah keep it's the same thing again. You would you would go closer with more more sails instead of raising early to try and. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, you're you're right. Yeah, you have a lot of room to run away in this game. Or an LBH. And League of Thieves, yeah, you want to make sure you have yeah. opening broad and raise all your sails. Yeah, and true. Yeah, I just stuff. play too much like League of Thieves. And, and this happens, blue runs away. They're either going to turn, like, very simple. Yeah. A team, they're, they're going to go out of bounds. They either turn right or they turn left. If they turn right, you want, I would lower front and get right up in here. Because, like I said, yeah, ju ju smart. Ju ju smart. Ju just past this is out of bounds. You kind of like over yeah. here is out of bounds, which means this ship yeah, is going to turn right or left. So if they turn right, you want to be right here blocking them so they can't do anything. Yeah, that's really smart. Um, here, which isn't bad. Like it, it works out. Um, I don't think walking, you can at, at this point, you can't get faster into them. So it's fine to stay here. I just keep back sail them, which you do. Perfect. Make sure they can't go around you. Now you're slowly just keeping up with them because you don't need to go fast on them or go same speed because remember they're on the outside line they have to go around you so just stop them from being able to go yeah. around you which is, actually, which is like what you did just drop sail which is great. That's purple coming. Yeah so here you have two options so 
Purple's anchor turn, so it kind of sucks. What I would yeah, do... Yeah, Purple's going for us here. Exactly. That's very obvious. Exactly. Yeah. What I would do in this situation is I would keep shooting blue as much as possible. And then okay. when I see Purple has raised their anchor and is going for me, I would drop mid in front. I would leave. Um, and then I would send two boarders to blue as I'm leaving. That way I could keep my Belgian me on yeah. the boat and just run away. Hopefully my boarders can kill this team. Or if you want to play really aggressive, you can crank hard left you can harpoon left and stay and just switch switch spots with blue basically as blue goes past you you're going to crank hard left and go where blue was if you want to be real risky which is it like i'm not worried about that because you won the broad so it's not like this team is is like fine yeah, they're hurting, getting rolled. so it's okay yeah. to nose them for a couple seconds to like get to like get where they are so that they go past you and purple fights them um yeah i need to send borders on these guys here before i leave because i think we leave yeah. Exactly. But yeah, like, like the only reason I say you can go there because blue's blue's double sailing. But so because of that, they have an opening, yeah. we can go behind them. If they were just full raised or single sailing, this wouldn't be an option. But because they are double sailing, they're gonna go faster than they can turn. So yeah, in this case, yeah, only this case, much. you yeah. can harpoon left and go behind them, get away from purple. Like I said, the easier easier way is just to send two borders. Is your drop mid, drop front, and as you're about to lose angle, send two borders, mm-hmm. and then you can just turn turn sails uh, by yourself. And then run away. I was thinking about sending Shiro here and I told him to stay. I can't remember why. I think he did send him. Oh, he did say. He did go. Works out. Yeah, purple's here. See, here he relief because I pushed you out. You said what? Here I pushed it out. So blue would have sunk. But purple is shooting me here and that's why we go out. I don't know if you agree with that or if you, if you would have tanked some shots from purple here. Oh here? No, I would run away. I'm not. You can't. Okay. You okay. Can't, you, you agree with me? Is that you can't win a pinch? It's not possible. Yeah. So just run. Okay. Be another one. I would have ran. Keep hitting our masses. Soon. Very monka. Yeah. That's fine. I would have ran. Keep hitting our masses. Well. That's fine. Oh sooner. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I would have left back here by this beach just because I'm scared yeah. of purple coming in sooner. Luckily, purple. I don't think their helm turns his wheel because they they don't they they have wind. I think Where, where's wind at? I and wind is to the really right. Close. No, wind's going that way. So they don't have wind. Never mind. They don't have wind. Okay. But I, th I don't think they were... Their wheel was straight. Because they like... When they came back, they were really far away from you. Yeah. Oh, that's why. They raised mid -sale. They just ra If they had triple dropped f coming for you, you would not have yeah. enough time. So you would have to leave immediately. Luckily, they raised mid, yeah. so you do have a lot of time. And they, yeah, they turn into you. So they ha you have a lot of time to just chill. Yeah. And this happens, there's whatever. So I, I think I, 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 when we leave, yeah, I sent a second border, right? Yes. Might be this thing. This happens, just chilling. Yeah, just go behind red, you're chilling. Yeah. Stay on mess. That's what we do. Go straight now. I would say go straight now. I would have turned a little straight. Because if you keep going yeah. right, you're gonna go and you're gonna go into another ship. So once you're behind red, just turn the wheel straight. Because if you keep going right, red is gonna turn uh, left and just keep shooting. Looking you. toasty. If you, if you go straight, you'll be fine. Yeah. So I would turn straight. Now that border's on, which sucks. Well, this is interesting. This is bad. We get anchored. Yeah, we get anchored here. He's low. I miss like a bow, so. Yeah. Now everyone top deck and raise the anchor. So you need to raise the anchor and then crank the boat straight. Watch borders, Toasty. Toasty, watch borders. I'm patching mass, I'm patching mass. Okay, somebody watch borders. I should have crank our left now. Yes, this is nice. This is what you do. Fucking uh, rata. Yeah. I'm even gonna shoot back. I love Chris's calls. Not bad. Only thing I said differently was crank card left. Uh, actually, you don't need to. You can just okay. you can just harpoon around the rock. It's not bad. You should go because you're about to go out of bounds. If you keep going this way, so you just gotta yeah. turn left. So yeah. this is fine. Uh, you can because you can harpoon around the rock. But yeah, this is fine. This is, what you need, this is what you need to do in this situation. Oh, hopefully, you harpoon around the rock. We'll see what happens. Ooh, you just go. Uh, you have no distance actually. Probably not a lot. Uh, we're about to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're about to go out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, yeah, you should be out of bounds, I think, right now. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I, I, I was, I, only thing I did different was harpoon it along the rock, make sure I don't go to bounds. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. 
we had like four seconds left. It wasn't. Uh, okay, it so, wasn't pretty. Okay, so in this case, what I do? Well, you. Okay, so you turned. You lower still way too early. Um, so okay. in, the, in this case. Since the wheel's already cranked hard left, you've done all you can do. Yes. So I would go to map, check myself, and see which direction I need to go. Worst case scenario, yeah. like I said, sometimes you can't. Sometimes you got to turn the wheel or whatnot, repair it or anything. So if you do ask your team to tell you where you need to go, just ask them which way do I need to go to get in bounds. That's it. Just ask them which way do I need to go to go in bounds. That way they can tell you. Because here, yeah. I believe it should be north by northwest. Actually, probably northwest at this point. You're really far yeah. out. You just lower sails way too early. Like, where, where are you facing? You're facing... Yeah, you're facing directly... Where are you? So you're pretty much north... Yeah, you're north by northeast. Northeast, sorry. East by northeast is where you are. You're east by northeast when you drop. You need to go pretty much northwest. So you dropped way too early. Yeah. So you're just... You're not making the turn fast enough. You're going way too far. You should have just raised earlier. If you knew where you had to go, you would have known this. If you yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do this. I, I know just, what you mean. I'm just hoping, I'm hoping to make it in. <laughs> yeah, we are hoping. <laughs> Luckily, it works. Out. All right, so, oh, well, that's the sound effect you don't want to hear. Anyways, so you have two options now. This ship's here. That ship just left. So in this case, I would just say go straight because there's a ship over here, I believe. Yeah, that there's that ship coming in this way. So we'll see what happens. Um. Let's see. Honestly, if you want to be real gangster, you could harpoon around right around this rock and just follow blue. Because this ship's triple sailing, so they're going to go past. If they were full raise, that's, that's a bad call. But because this ship over here is triple sailing, yeah, it should be fine. Uh, I think we go for the full straight. It's not bad. I'm going to go. Let's see. I think... Okay, so I think you just get lucky that all the ships think you sank, actually. I think is what happened. Yeah, that's all that happened. The ships, you just lived. That's why you lived. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what happens. So this happens. Yeah, because the, the, both these ships just leave you. Ships that you full nose. Because they heard the call that you sank. That's nice. Yeah. That's quite lucky. Mm. I'm confused. Why are you leaving? Oh, guys, okay, so you don't want to fight Blue? Yeah, he has to. Uh, Toasty has to go. Oh, that's fine. He's not, I'm not watching his bun. Yeah, true. Why, so why do you want to leave here? Did you just not want to sink Blue? Because your your ship's fully ripped. Those two ships are doing I'm scared anything. because of purple on my left. Like, the, the boys on the left are still there, right? Yeah, but, uh, but they're, they're, they're nosing running, away. Yeah. They're finding red. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's red. That's red, but purple's fighting oh, red. red. Purple is way over there. Purple's going away, just like red is, so you're not going to get pinched, just a 1v1. We're kind of getting slammed as well. Are you? You're first broad. You had, you had first broad. I don't know. I don't know, it's fine to leave. It's not... It doesn't cause you to lose to leave, it just doesn't allow you to win. Yeah, true. So it's not bad. Also, the main problem too when you leave is the fact that they can now break your mask because that's the only thing they can shoot is your mask. So if they have all four people yeah. shoot your mask, you're just going to get mask cracked. So I wouldn't leave in this case just because there's no reason to. You can, but it's not really needed. Here, this is a nice infinite angle. Kind of. So I would tell my team to shoot right side here. So let's see. Because this comes in, you go over here behind purple, which is fine. Uh, the main problem is you want your team to you want your uh, team to turn to the wind, but you got to turn hard right anyway. So it's gonna your wind's gonna be directly against you once you turn right. Yeah, so that's I true. Just, so I would just yeah. tell my team to just shoot shoot purple right now. I crank the hard right, yeah. get a cannon, and shoot purple, and just start shooting them. Because purple raised that sail, they kind of dropped it again, so they might not come for you. But I just start shooting them. Maybe get a mass down, or get a bag, or knock someone off the boat, or something. Because you could, like, this is free. You could have easily chopped some of their masts. Yeah. You always had broad. You had broad the entire time. <laughs> you had broad the entire time. Anyways. This happens, which is cool. Now you get on cannons, let's see what happens. Are you hitting? Yeah. Yes. Oh, there is one. 
This happens here. Let's see. I got you. Catch mates. I'm catching mates. Okay, that's way okay, too late. Um. Okay. First off, you catch the wrong. You caught on the wrong side. So now you're just hoping yeah, to get true. one bulb. <laughs> yeah, Secondly, yeah, I, I remember this shit. Yeah. Secondly, it's not. LBH is pretty important for you to catch mass, so I don't mind it yeah. to catch mid. Um, I would never do this in League of Thieves. Like, never. It's just because it's LBH. That's how it is. But, you, but I'm on the wrong side, yeah. I, am all, I already committed to going out here, by the way. That's fine. Well, it's not bad. You can swap to the left. Um, because Best thing the about this broad was that we absorbed like seven chain shots because they shot like five or six chain shots here and they missed most of them and that's why they didn't have them later. Like, that was the best thing here. Uh, I just didn't want to stay in with him dead, you know? That's good. I could just yeah. do it. Yeah. Be like here, it's okay to let it to swap to their side because number one is number one is better to not get one balled, but number two, yeah. because this mast, like the actual, not the actual wood piece, the mast, the cloth piece is down. Not only do you have to raise the wood beam, you also have to raise the mast. So swapping yeah. from right to left doesn't lose you much time because you have to raise it. That's true. That's and true. And as, as this yeah. thing falls, this mast slowly gets furled up anyway for you. So it doesn't lose you much yeah. time to go from right to left. That's true. So you would still have swapped it even though yeah. you took the wrong. Yeah, yeah I would have thought because like because you can even try it. Like if you leave if you leave the peg as you're pulling up the mast, the mast doesn't go down very far. So you have That's a lot true. of time. So you just go from right to left real quick. Way better than get a one ball. I th I tested at one point on a sloop and it does. Um, Actually, no, I didn't really test it. I tested like whether it's better to let it fall for a second then catch it, but no. So it does lose you a little bit. It's like half a second or so, but way better than one. Yeah. Ball. Yeah, absolutely. Also, if you're going to do this, do not repair this side. You have three sides you can repair. Only one of these you cannot see the rod. So don't repair the one that you can't yeah, see the rod true. on. Repair the middle one yeah. so you can see the rod and not because you got lucky you didn't get bald. This happens. Lucky you didn't get bald, so it worked out, but just don't yeah don't do that don't do that yeah this happens yeah see i think it was the good call to go away because blue was already triple saying towards us there on the left here no yeah i mean this is the right call because your master yeah like you're, you're, blue is instantly going again yeah no i mean i mean yeah this is the right call to run away because your mess is down your team just okay. got balled you're in a bad situation yeah definitely want to run away here okay yeah 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 but i need to stand on the other side and repair on the other side for sure yes yeah. like don't repair left because your team's repairing it but repair the middle yeah so you can yeah. see the bra yeah. this happens so in this case just trust your team to watch <coughs> to watch borders and i'll do it i'll normally okay. tell someone directly like I'll say, well, RZO is my teammate. His name is Christian. So I'd say, Christian, watch ladders. Plain and simple, just so he knows. While I'm busy with this wheel. Now here they're full nosing you, yeah. so you have two options. You have a bit of room on the south, so you can just crank hard left and then just fight blue because yeah, you're not hurting. Them. It's like you're not hurting bad anymore, and they're full nosing you. So you I would crank yeah. the wheel hard left and start shooting them. Because if you turn right, you can't really leave. Blues already has momentum. And so, if you turn right, they're just going to shoot you anyway from max range and yeah. chop your mess. So, I just say you turn left and just start shooting them. Luckily, this happens. This happens. I like it works out. So, I think blue was the one who sent the borders. I don't know. It might have been purple. I'm not sure. No, it was purple. Okay. That's fish, that's purple. Perfect. Okay, back to balance, the balance are just cool. This happens. Blue yeah, peels off. Yeah, just get a full reset. Yeah, luckily blue yeah. peels off. Because the only reason why it was because, like I said, blue saw their full nose in you. Now, luckily they didn't know you were boarding. Yeah. But blue saw their, their, their full nose in you, so they, they ran away. Because they had to. Yeah. So it worked out for you. But let's see. This happens. So that call, it wasn't bad. You did everything you could. You took the broad, teammate died, caught the mess, should have caught on the other side, should have repared the mid yep. um, one, not the right one. But besides that, everything yep. else was fine. Actual decision making and turning the wheel. Let's see what happens. So here. Let's yeah, we are trying to guard them from going in. Doesn't really work out for us, though. That's fine. This happens, let's see. Yeah, only thing I'd say is to drop back sail because they have all the way until that rock. 
for yeah. two, two by two. And they're clearly trying to go around you. So if they're trying to go around you, don't let them. In this case, they're kind of far away, so you can probably drop back and front and then just raise back yeah. soil out by, by yourself or whatnot. Yeah, that's but, a good one. But you're only, have, you're only going one sail down right now. Let's see what happens, though. I mean, this happens. That puts a damp in your plans, which happens. So bad, yeah. And there's blue behind you. So, I mean, yeah, you can't, you, can't, you, can't, you have to leave at this point, which is whatever. Uh, this is yeah. the right call. So at this point, I would go this way and go next to the ref ship because that way I'm taking a long broad from purple. They can't, that can't, doesn't do anything. Yeah. And then I'll just be on the outside. I could turn around. That way I'll be on the outside. Purple might take a broad with me. I can take a 1v1. Or if purple keeps going down, I could probably pinch purple later on. But either way, my job is to get out. So easy yeah. way to find where open water is. This ship's going this way. That blue ship's going this way, so clearly there's no ships over here, and no ship is going this direction, so go this way. Uh, I'm going in the middle of them. Exactly, which I think you do, which is beautiful. Do this. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Tracks, you leave. Ooh, this is nice. Now you shoot blue. Oh, uh, I would probably crank hard left, because I don't want to fight this. I crank, eh. Main problem is zone. Is problem. Your boss zone. also left. Yeah. yeah no, oh no, that's true. Well, zone, zone, uh, problem's not a problem. They're kind of far away. I'm saying you you can just go north and go to the sea post to be fine. Okay. Uh, main problem yeah. I have is the fact that you're triple sailing and it's a close range broad, so eventually yeah. something's gonna happen. And so you can take this broad. It's not bad. I would just be careful. Honestly, I would probably leave. I don't like taking broads like this where we're so cramped together because zone is right here. Blue is triple sailing. It makes it real un uncomfortable. I'd probably just go north. Yeah. And run. Um, but it's not bad. To do it this way either like i would still shoot them but i wouldn't be trying to sink them yeah luckily like okay yeah. they end up just turning you that way anyway yeah to be out which we end up do anyway yeah i wanted to leave i want to leave because i also said okay good we're out like that i agree with you there that's good so here you have a couple options what i'll usually do whenever i see a, see a ship coming for me i'll almost always just raise all sails and turn the boat and just start shooting at them reason being this ship has to has to well raise their sails and turn whereas I, i'm already had the game i'm already raising sails and i've turned so i'll have first broad yeah so in this, case, in this yeah. case i would crank hard right that way i have my back towards this ship and i can shoot right side of blue that's what i would do yeah that's and smart then, and i can leave if need be but it's not a big deal. Yeah, because if you had turned, you would be able to shoot blue and you could maybe sense the borders. Yeah. It's not bad. Only thing I'd do differently was I would turn right. That way I have my back towards these ships. Yeah, the off to the other one. Yeah, that's good. Because when you do this, it's not. There's some advantages to it. Because obviously, if you can just drop sails and go this way, but I wouldn't. I think having the back to them is a little bit better in this case, just because you're not really in danger. You can always just turn left or right and leave if need be and just hug the north line. Either way, yeah. Because also the main problem, a team. If a team is nosing you, everyone knows you go behind the enemy ship. Everyone knows that because the ship cannot move backwards. So when you do this, mm -hmm. you're forcing them to go behind you, which is not bad. You'll still be able to keep angle and all that. Um, but the main thing is you can't really get closer to them. They're just going to go away from you. So in this case, now they're still they're still going to go behind you anyway. If they go, if you're facing the other way. However, they'll be going towards the middle of the map and not the side. Because if you're in a corner yeah. or on the side of the map, you can't really get pinched. It's much harder to do so. If you're in the middle, way easier to do so. If you can, by the way. So because your back is facing towards the uh, the back the zone edge, they're going to go behind you, hug the edge, and now you're in the middle. Because purple might come here, and blue might be behind you and be on your right side. So now you're in the middle because yeah. they went behind you. So it probably won't happen. Or you can always leave if it gets to that place. But it's just a situation where if you were turned backwards the entire time, you would have been fine. Anyways, it worked out. You can you can always make do with every situation. It's not like you have to keep abroad or it's going to happen. I'm saying that you're, you'll be in a better aggressive position where you can take advantage of things more often if your back is towards the third party ship and then you're... Yeah, that's what you try to do. Exactly. Always. Exactly. Because also, because yeah. if a team sees you nosing them, they're usually going to shoot you. If they see your back towards them, they don't really care. Yeah. Cause they, know, cause they, cause they know you can just run away. Yeah, they know you can just leave. Yeah. That happens. Now you're here. Now you have to leave, which is fine. Let's see. So, 
Well, in this case, I would take a fight with purple because purple's nosing me and I can crank hard left. I would yep. take the fight back here when, when I first saw purple turning. Because uh, if you... You won't be able to leave every situation. Uh, there are some situations where you just have to take a fight. You just have to go away from one ship and towards another. And th this is one of those cases right. where if you just sit here, you're going to take a broad from red on your right, purple on your left. So decide whether you go for red or go for purple. I would say go for purple because purple is full nosing you. Yep. So you'll have a first broad and a higher chance of winning. Rather than go for red where you have to chase, where you have to go over to them and then it's an even broad and all that. Like, it's an easy T-bone. So I would just start shooting purple. Crank card left, yeah, shoot purple. Your entire team. I just hate being in between. Yeah. It happens. No, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it happens. Like, this is LBH. This is going to happen where you're going to be in between both teams. This is why, in this situation, yeah. you got to go away from one and towards the other. Yeah, makes sense. And this happens. And, th and like I said, in this situation, obviously, it's kind of subjective. In this situation, if you were on cannons shooting purple, you wouldn't have got knocked off. Obviously, if a cannon yeah. shot a cannon, oh, then sense. you don't know it would be easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's just this situation. Like, obviously, if you're on cannons, like, and if a cannonball hits you on cannon, you'd be safer on the wheel. But this is hindsight. Anyways, do this, this happens. I would just gone for purple. Luckily, nothing really happens, I don't think. Like, you get a tie. That's what happens. How in the world did he leave? Oh, I guess he happened on the island. That worked out. Oh, Rizzo, 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 Rizzo. She left. She left the blue. She left the blue. I would not drop. So I will not drop because if you drop, you're going towards purple. You need to sit right yep. here. That way you stay as far away from purple as possible. I'm still trying to leave, but I get what you're saying. Like sometimes you shouldn't be leaving and you should just go for the, yeah. Exactly. Like in this case, as long as you stay right here, you're fine. Purple's too far away to shoot you. The only way purple can yep. shoot you is if they just full nose you and go towards yep. you or you go towards them and full nose them. If you just sit right here, you're fine. If you sit back here... Because you had it, like, you, you full raised, so I thought you were chilling. Yeah, I could have chilled it, yeah. Or as you were chilling, like, I, I know I said, you know, double sail and all that. That's when you have a lot of room to work with and they can run away. In this yeah. case, there's no room to run away. So just be in a spot that's safe, that you can't get pinched at, and just sit there. If it changes where you're now in the middle, then leave. In this case, purple's here, so just uh, full raise. Shoot blue that's right next to you. Kill them. Set a couple of borders, and you'll be fine. Because blue, like I said, they're going to go behind you. I think they go in front of you. In this case, they're going to go in front of you because you can see they're turning hard left. So it's not like it's easy. You just, because they're going to go in front of you, there's going to be a, a shield between you and purple. So just yeah. sit right here. Yeah. I said you drop front and back. And now you just let them, now you just have to leave. That was yeah. An, that was yeah, I'm easy leaving him. Easy pinch. Easy, easy, yeah, because purple actually going for them. So that was an easy pinch. Could have sang blue. Easy. Yeah. Said you leave, and now they're here. Anchor, anchor, anchor. Yeah, that's all good. It's fun. I'll talk about anchor tent a little bit. There's not really been a situation doing this game because only four boats, but it's really simple. In almost all situations that an anchor drop will be preferable is if you are facing one direction. And you think to yourself, if I was facing the opposite direction, would that help me? If the answer is yes, you anchor turn. Like, okay. it's, it seems simple, obviously, because that's what anchor turn does. It 180s you. But when you think about it like that, it makes your life so much easier. There are so many times where there's just ships in front of you or to your side. And it's just like, how do I leave? I can't turn fast enough. You just think, oh, if I do a 180, will I be better? The answer is yes, and just anchor real quick. That's what I always ask myself. Okay. I, I never really anchor turn too much. But I started to a whole lot more. Uh, that's a good one. Because it's just really easy to remember. Of like, if I'm going the opposite direction, would this be better? Yes. So then anchor turn. Yeah. In this case, there's not been a lot of situations. There hasn't been any situation where you had to anchor turn, so it wasn't a big deal. Oh, this ship is dead. I think that goes without saying. Yes, yeah, done. You just do this. Raise all easy. Yeah. This ship is dead. And here I do the thing again. What thing? Oh, you just don't turn? No, I don't mind. Wait, what thing? I don't mind you dropping sail because oh, no, I thought I was gonna let the red live. I thought I was gonna let the red live. Okay. But I don't think I uh, do. Only, only Let's see what happens here, because yeah. it oh. was a draw, so something goes wrong here. But only you did wrong was that you just were on sales for way too long. 
Hey, what'd you turn it for? Yeah. Like, wind that way? No, no, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Like you just turn, you just no, there there is no wind that way. You just turn the sail for no reason. But you end up losing yeah. it because of it. For yeah. just a second, so they don't do anything. Okay, it looks like kind of knows you, so it works out. <clears throat> this happens. Yeah. How did these guys not sink? So in this case, as a helm, whenever I get on cans like this, my team's got this part, I'm just shooting their wheel. Plain and simple, I'm shooting their wheel. Okay. Easy shot, I'm on a high wave, they're kind of nosing me. Easy wheel shot, easiest wheel shot of my life. Trust me, like once I get on, <laughs> if I see okay, okay. any roll I'm on, flex, bilge, main cannon, does, helm, doesn't matter. Anytime this happens where they're kind of nosing me, or I'm on a high wave and I see this wheel, easy shot. Just shoot it real quick. Yeah. <laughs> So this happens, so you have two options now. You either turn right or you turn left. I would turn left. That way I can get behind them oh. and they're going to go straight past me. Um, rather than turning right. I was very mad here. Because we had chain yeah. shots. Like, this shouldn't have happened in my opinion. Yeah, it happens. Like, I mean, if they I were chained, know. we would have fucked them, you know? Yeah, it's true. That's why uh, this... you as a helm just need to get used to knowing how to sink people when their maps are not down. Mainly it's borders, yeah. obviously. But like I said, like... You only have 10 chain shots. It with Dauntless, we didn't shoot. We, we, we would shoot chains at people, and it would demast them. But in most cases, I mean, everyone, we, we just we just hit our shots, so their match just went yeah. down naturally, which helped. Um, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, we still sank ships that were trying to actively run away from us because we just sent double boards and triple boards the entire game. And I was... Yeah. And more importantly, I put our boat in a position where we could always shoot them or we could always send borders. We were never miles away from each other where they could escape. So this is perfect right here. Yeah. So in this case, I would just go hard left. That way I can get behind them. Because if I crank hard right, I don't think, I don't think you're going to make this turn. Because they're just a little still sailing. I'll crank hard left. And then see what happens. That's all you do, which is great. Alright, so now... Let's see. Ooh, let's see what happens. Hit him Dead. All right, so at this point, I would drop all because yep. this ship is coming in. They're gonna try. They're gonna go behind you, and so I would drop all so I can number one get away from purple and towards red because red's kind of only single sailing. So if I can just keep up with red and keep up the pressure, I'll be fine. And I'm also going away from purple, which is great. Yeah, you should have you should have dropped front. Because problem is purple is triple sailing, right? So I would try to finish the kill on red because I know they're pretty they're in a bad situation. So I'd just drop yeah. front sail at this point and then um, sink sink red. Or if I really want to, I'd send a triple board and I'd just run away uh, from purple. Got it. Can I go over? No, I'm not. Not yet, not yet. Okay, turning off. I can't raise it. Yeah, be This happens. Right, Let's so see. I am. I am. I am. They're giving us How as long 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 as no matter what you do to sink red, purple's gonna post up right here, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But I would probably I would turn hard right and just keep turning right, getting away. I wouldn't go this way because because purple's facing this way. They, they they you can just follow me along and keep me the entire time. So I would not go this way. That, yeah. that's a throw. I would turn hard right, keep shooting red while I can, try to get their mass down, and then once I'm facing uh, west. Then I would send a double board, not a triple, because I have this ship right here to worry about. I send a double board, turn away, and then I would go north. Now, hopefully, this ship is still pointing this way. That way, I can just go behind them and just go up north. If that's the case, then I'm I'm, I'm home free. Uh, and I don't see why this ship would actually turn in, turn in. Uh, even though they do, I'll, I'll go. Basically, I'll just, I'm, my goal is to run this this side right here and yeah, just go to the north. You want to go there? Exactly, and just turn my boat around while I can still keep shooting red, send, send a double board. If it's real bad, like this ship is like right here, um, then I might just send one guy, even even no one really. But we'll see how it plays out. 
That's probably what I do. Just but I sent, I sent no borders because I'm scared of purple, and that's definitely not the play. Yeah. That's what happens here. That happens. And you do this. He even asked, and I said, no, purple's right here. But you say still send borders, right? Yeah. You and have, just secure the kill. Yeah, because you have yeah. two minutes. You have two, a minute for the zone to close, and another minute for you to get in zone. So you have two minutes. You're yeah. Done. Yeah. This happens. Also, like I said, you're going kind of in the left, which is not bad. But like if purple was better, yeah. they would just drop front and just gate kept you. They would just follow you yeah, along, make sure you can't get in. You see that. that I'm like kind of doing what you say, but then the opposite, so I turn the other way. Be oh, red is now also fucking me. This is why they shoot a border, by the way. If I would have boarded red, this wouldn't have happened. Where red is also shooting me. That's how it is. This isn't bad, just go behind red. Again, I would have checked the map. So yeah. once I am cranked the wheel hard left... Then you check yourself. Exactly, because wheels, wheels crank yeah. hard left. There is nothing more you can do. So check the map, see exactly yeah. where you are. That way you know where you need to go. And then just... I, now at this point, you just go behind red. Once this happens, yeah. you just go behind red. Also, it keeps you away from the wheel. That way you can't get hit. Because once you're here... You, you can't see a cannonball if it comes at you. So if you're just check, if yeah. you're checking the map, you're fine. That's true. So you're just killing two birds, one stone. And this happens. Go behind red. Yeah, I would know where I am on the map, so I know how far behind red I can, red I can go. I assume you just gotta yeah. hug the west. I assume you gotta go directly west, if I had to guess. Without seeing the map, I can't know. Okay, so did he say some. So he said three. One thing I, I would do. Three. Yeah. Well, no, that's fine. One thing I would do, though, is look in the air. It's in case they get a deck land. Um, that way you can't oh, just yeah. get rolled. That's good. I never do that. Just, yeah. check, just check real quick. But yeah, you watch right side. Someone's watching left, I think, so you're fine. Yeah. yeah. Or, he's checking his mess, I guess. Okay. You're fine. So once I crank hard right, yeah, you raise front. Um... I would tell my team to raise back sail so I can check the map. I tell my team to raise front, raise back, and I'll I'll check the map and see where I need to go. I oh, might you will do I, it yourself, yeah. Yeah, I might raise back sail just because I know I'm somewhere out of bounds and I got I know I got to turn right at least, and so I'd raise back sail uh, with my team then go check map and see where I need to go. Which it's not bad to have your team check it for you in this case because once you're already out of bounds, all you, all you care about is what direction you have to go to get back in bounds. So you don't need to check yeah. it yourself. I'm talking like when you're not in bounds, you need to know where to go to not go out of bounds. Let's see. That's scary. So this is where... Yeah, so yeah. let's see. Now you I just gave the NOS, you know? You just turn your back. Please rest that, man. Yeah. I need to start finding each other, which is great for me. What is red doing? Alright, so this is where you crank hard left and you shoot red. And you pin uh, red, yeah. You could crank hard yeah. right, to be honest, but I... Personally, I wouldn't care. This seems a little too far away to do any real damage yeah. to me. I wouldn't care too much. Um, I, 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 I fucked up here a little bit. I... I still had the mindset of leaving, and that's why I, I did like the stupid thing where you turn left and then you turn back right and then you turn left. Like, that's stupid. That I wasted time, or we would have had angle already here. And this motherfucker is on, of course. Yeah. That happens. This happens. Now you might get a little too yeah, far. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, then you just sit right here. Don't drop the mask. Don't get, don't get closer to purple. Yeah. Just sit right here. Go over. Shoot borders. Triple, triple. Oh. Pulled man. You sure? They're shooting back. Killed one, I'm one wandered. I wouldn't send a triple because of this ship. I might send a double. <laughs> I would not send a triple because my boat's in a I, I send a triple when my boat is in a situation where there is zero chance I take any holes. Yeah. I send a double yeah. if there is a chance that we could take some holes. In this case, yeah, that makes perfect holes. sense. 
Because now you gotta, you're gonna be the one bailing, which you could probably. You'll see me uh, bilching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm holding this solo easy. But now you. But can't I get what you're saying. Down. Let's say somebody would board now while I'm bilching. That's very bad. Toasty's yeah. back. Toasty's back. back. So. I hope so. Yeah, yeah but I mean, you're right. You're getting yeah. Really quick box runs. Really lucky. Yeah. All right, so now we got a raise all because you are about to go out of yeah. bounds. Uh, I think I think you checked actually. If you keep yeah, I checked. Let's see. No, I guess not. I guess I guess have more room. I think you're about to triple. You're about to have one, don't you? Maybe not. No, maybe not. Oh, you're yeah, actually chilling. I also raised in front. It worked out. See, so, yeah, I mean that case can't really do much red. Red's there, so it's how it is. Can't really sync them. It's yeah. just a situation you have to leave, which you did. I've done waited. Oh yeah, this situation I told you about. Let's see. Yeah. So this happens. Red is get fully deed. So you have two options. You can go. I can't really go this way anymore. I was gonna say if Red's master. Uh, yeah, I do the stupid though. Yeah. I don't think you did, but yeah, I was saying if Red kept their mask on, you could go in front of them. Uh, because they're fully deed, you kind of got to go left, which is not bad. But like I said, this happens. Crank left. No, I... I, told I you do this stupid thing again. Now I'm going to kill the ship that is not down, you know? Yeah. It'll be. See, see what's happening? I, I should I should have not shot this, uh, this ship at all. Yeah, right? Or what you, what, you, what you said last time, where you just send triple boards and then you just leave so that they don't get scared. That's what I should have done here. Yeah, remember, yeah, like I, told, I, told you, I, told, yeah I told you like in the pregame lobby, but yeah, I said just send a triple board. Yeah. So you yeah. got a little close, so this was fine. Oh, you would do this. Do this. I would send a triple board and then I would drop back sail in front. And then just go this way. I'd probably go actually go south, honestly. Make sure my boat's far away. So that's a triple board. Yeah. So I'd have my team yeah, drop I front. I'd drop back, turn left, go south. And then they can just go board red. Yeah. This happens instead. And you shoot purple and it's a tie. Let's see. Yeah. This happens. Let's see. Cannons. Yeah, you get a lot of room south. He rats getting out here. This is just a fight. So. Yeah, I'm leaving here because Red is getting uh, their seals up. I don't know if you agree with that call. Hmm. What, are you leaving? Yeah, I don't mind it. Uh, I I hated playing against Helms like you because it's like, brother, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, like, I'm I'm giving you second place. Why are you? Why do you so insistent on getting yeah, third? Yeah. I'm handing you second place, and you're like, no, I went third. So stupid. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I know. As you get better at the game, and start to hate teams like that too. But anyways, this happens. There's a border. Who get rolled? I fucking rigged. I'm dead. Kill him together? He's yeah. behind mast. He's rushing. Don't, don't push with a Fight sniper. Him. Okay, you have this. Push with your blunder. That way you can, yeah, right. that way you can one tap him. Yeah. That, that guy luckily doesn't yeah. kill you. But yeah, just if you're going to push someone, push with blunder. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I got him, I got him, I got him. He got him, he got him. He got him. Nice. And now nobody has him, by the way. Nice. Coverage. Now we're angry at each other. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Okay, like, I got chilling. it, I got it, but then we both go. Yeah, we're chilling. chilling. So at this point... Two oh, two minutes. Oh, I forgot. I should tell you. Two minutes. two minutes. I forgot. It tells you the two-minute mark. I was going to say, check the timer so you know how much time is left. Let's see. Yeah. Here we are, just tanking. Because we're getting, uh, we're getting perma-boarded. Once. Yeah, just get a bunch of both stuff. Happens. Luckily, you live. Yeah. Yeah, luckily, we live. Oh, yeah, I think this is when you should have just pushed him. Let me see real quick. Nice. I'm one land. I can't one land. My shit's on a dragging. Where, 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 where? He's in the water. He's in the water. 
Two more, two more, two more. We're double batching for now. Yeah. Chris, where are you? Hitting Not balls. dying, let me see real quick. Okay, we can help. Okay. Only I say differently. Double. Yes. Let me see. Wait, when he if he jumps in the water like this, yeah. Only I say differently would be to just wait by a ladder. So this happens, comes up here, you get ammo, whatever, and then this happens. He throws in the water. So I would just sit either on a wheel. Go back and forth like you did, or only I do because I know he's gonna climb up. This is not the same guy, it's a different guy, but I would yeah. just play by grape and listen for him to climb because yeah, I can one button. Now, now it works yeah. out, which is fine. Sure, you? you snipe him, this happens, go to push him with blunder. Doesn't really happen, unfortunate. But you can just sit there by the ladder and wait for him to climb back up and then just get a quick one blunder. Yeah, it's not bad what you did, it's, a, it's a much safer option. But I prefer to get one butterfly. Yeah. Okay, he's died, he's cool. Grab me a few buckets, Sarah. He's on. Stay up, stay up, one. stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. He's, he's still down, yeah. Killed him. He's dead. So if you're already here, just take a bucket. This is fine. This is just yeah, no, that's just fine. Yeah. There's no, there's no pressure. Just take a bucket. Down here. Here. Just take a bucket. Real simple. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you're all fine. Also, one thing you can do too is one thing you just kind of be aware of is in the final one minute you can go out of bounds. It doesn't matter because you're not gonna sink in time because you have six seconds to true. back in bounds. So you just so map doesn't matter at this point. It, it's not bad to do this. It worked out. Really excited. Really excited about a three way tie. It's fun. Uh, I was just happy we were still in the lead, you know? That was good. That was good. I mean, this was fine. It was fine ladder guarding. Um, it was fine border defense. Not much you could have done with that, but getting knocked off there. Only different was, well, not being in the situation in the first place. Um, and the way to yeah. fix that was to, well, number one, Letting just let red sink. To send borders. Yeah. Because you just put to send in borders and stay on, on long range, right? Yeah. You just put in a bad spot. I could literally have sat, uh, sat there and anchored myself, and maybe they would have killed them, right? Most likely. If I yeah. didn't, you know. Yeah, and the only yeah. reason why purple, you know why purple immediately left, because in the first game, I targeted them hard. So they, they, they just assumed I would go for them instantly. Yeah. I guess Who's that? Let's see. I mean, that's kind of all you can do there. After this, it's just 50 different borders going to anchor you and all that. There's nothing yeah, really yeah, at yeah, this yeah. point other than just live. Yeah. I guess the only thing different yeah. if you push someone, push with blunder. If this happens where you yeah. know they're climbing up somewhere, just and hold. Wait just, the just hold with blunder because you you'll be able to hear him climb, and your builds can also hear him climb. So I'll tell you what, what side he is on. Uh, but that way, yeah. you, you can climb up, and get an easy one blunder real quick. And then, like I said, the, I don't have a highlight of it, unfortunately, because I didn't make a highlight of it. But there was one game we had where it was Dauntless, Hell and High Water, Constitution was the last three, uh, final three ships. And for a solid 10 minutes, both Hell and High Water and Constitution both decided to target us because they knew we were the better team. And so they sent like a total of 24 borders the entire 10 minutes. It was just, Jesus. they were only shooting each other. And we lived. Uh, we lived for the full 10 minutes, survived, and we were good. We got a three-way tie. Now, the reason why we did was because, number one, I was doing all the stretch. I was waiting. I wasn't... Because once you snipe someone, he's just going to hide. He's not going to climb that ladder again. He's going to heal up to full and then just hide and try to snipe you, or he's very wary of you. Whereas if you just hide yeah. by the blunderbuss, you're good. He can, you can kill him immediately. But another big thing, too, yeah, is we would always we would always bucket with our bilge. Would, now, you guys didn't have a lot of cannon pressure. Cause they, had, they just didn't shoot any lowers. Or, like, your flex never called down, ever. So it worked out for you? Yeah, they shot too many borders. They just didn't have pressure. Yeah, they just didn't have any pressure. Like, we had a lot more pressure when we did it. But, yeah, you guys didn't have too much. Like, your bilge was kind of hard a little bit. But that's what I mean. Like, whenever, whenever you're down here, like, it helps your bilge out a ton. Whenever you're down here, you want to be bailing. Because if yeah. you have a lot of border pressure, you're not putting any pressure onto the other ship because of this they can just have all four people top deck so if they're all shooting you you won't have your bilge be able to repair every hole and not have to come back to bucket or whatnot so whenever you're down here yeah. just, just take, take it probably take two buckets honestly because at this point you're not gonna raise the anchor it's not, not possible but it worked out three-way tie easy and now the bad game man 
Yeah, it's a nice 20 minutes, even less. Fifth, 10 minutes game? Nice. You guys sank real early. We sank immediately. What in the world? Oh, just, you should watch from the beginning because immediately everybody turns for us. I guarantee you, Vanguard, but fine. Let's see, though. Yeah. As, I mean, it's very simple. This team seemed to be a little fine, but like I said, um, if you are the number one team, the only way Purple can win is to sink you. Plain and simple. They have to yeah. sink you first in order to win. So, if they're smart, they're going to go for you. Real quick. And so this happens, and... So you turn hard left, which confused how you sick that. Let's see. Purple is going for us, that's why I go. Okay. Blue is also going for us. Look, it happens. So that happens to us when we were in this first season match. Every single ship targeted me uh, because they knew we were yeah. the best team. And so what I did, I played very safe. It's very simple. You, no matter how good you are, you cannot beat a 1v2. Not possible. So... Because of that, if the other ships just want to go for you, just run away. You have a 3x3 three three grid with a 60 second out of bounds timer. You should be able to run yeah. away from everything. So just run away, chill out, and then eventually they'll get bored or realize, oh, we can't sink them, let's go for someone else. Yeah. Uh, and obviously you're first place, so this might not work necessarily because purple has to sink you in order to win. Uh, but like in the LBH, well, in the C actual finals in the season match... Uh, the ships went for us like a solid the first 10 minutes of the game and then eventually they got bored realized they couldn't sink us because we just kept running away and they went for other people yeah so let's see what happens okay yeah, so here so, so it, let's pause for a second blue so pi purple's behind us and you can see the blue is gonna triple sail towards us so i feel the pressure and i decide to just go south and I get pinned in the corner. That's basically what happens here. Oh, so you, went, you, you went right. Okay, I'd say go left. This ship is single sailing, which it would be better for triple. Anyways, yeah, they I are would not, go left. They are not in the threats, yeah. Okay, I would, I would but go you left. see they are triple sailing. They're going to be so fast. Like, blue is, is going to be here in like three seconds. Yeah, so I go left. You I would, would still... Left. Here's what okay. I would do. I would okay. go left. I would go this way. If this ship turns left for me, they're going to be triple sailing. And then I'll probably either crank a hard left and go this way and go the other direction. And I can hard put it on the island and do some hard island shenanigans. Or, and the purple's going to be here, obviously, but purple might be, like, cutting into the island. Like, if I go this way, purple might see me and come this way and, like, cut off this exit and blue become here, cut on this, this exit. In that case, I'd probably just take a fight with red. I'd go towards red because, like I said, you can't... You can't escape all fights sometimes it's better to just go towards one ship and away from another so i'd go left i would either shoot right side at red if both these ships are cut off my exit uh, like if this ship's like way north this ship is way south i just go for red um and then just follow red out or if red starts trying to shoot me i would just go straight north and hopefully i can just take a fight with blue either way i'm taking a fight with one of these ships it, but it's better to give yourself a lot of open area in the middle rather than go to the outskirts and when yeah all ships are going for it because if all ships are going for you you can't be on the outside it's, you're gonna get rolled see i go left and then it it, it depends what happens like it's it's on, it depends what happens i probably do a cut an anchor turn or something like if i see blue triple sail and they're like kind of way up here and i'm like here or whatnot and purple's coming from my backside. I can just anchor turn real quick, go the opposite direction, and then sail this way. Uh, but again, it, uh, you have to Call see me. the situation unfold to see exactly what you would ready. do. Yeah, Drop mid. Drop mid. Yeah, so blue did do that. Oh, no. Reloading every cannon right now. Oh, you were fine, actually. You could have just raised front and then shot shot left side of purple. Yeah, you actually have been fine. Yeah, so I would have raised mid and front at this ca at this point. Um, purple would, yes. purple would nose me. Purple would go behind me, right? Because they're not because if purple behind me cuts in front. They're gonna they're gonna be the pin ship. They're gonna be in the middle of red and me, or what is this red? Whoever it is red, between me and red. So they're gonna go behind me because they go behind me. This ship's going. Let's see if I can get an angle. Because purple goes behind me, this ship goes this way. Purple goes behind me. I have open water right here. I just cut straight through. So I'd raise front. Okay. I raise front, raise mid, raise back. Make sure I'm not moving towards this towards blue. Shoot purple a little bit, and I'd drop all. I'd probably actually pre-angle the sails after we raise them. That way we instantly catch wind, and then I'd just go this way. 
and then they probably turn around i can deal with that later but at this point yeah purple not not yet not yet at this point i still go left but once you see purple triple sale or they, they cut real steep yeah the triple sale and they cut in real steep so at this point you can just full raise and go for purple yeah exactly see they're going way behind you you have so much room you have so much room this yeah. way and if you had raised mid mid front and back, then you would be fine. You might be able to raise you might be able to still raise mid front and back right here. Although you gotta go real quick to do it. Um so you could probably still raise mid front and back at this point, just to make sure you get the turn. Uh but yeah, that, that's that's what I would do here. Yeah. You can't go this way at this point, because purple's just cutting you off fully. So there's no time to go to you have to beat blue to here. They're beating you there yeah. easily, so you can't go this way anymore, so you have to go this way. Which is fine, because even though they beat you here, you now have this as an option to go this way. Uh, and instead I go right. Exactly, you go right, which, I don't know, we'll see what we can do here. Base we'll see what we can do, and there might be something we can do. It's crazy. Uh, mid, sorry, I meant mid, I'm sorry. I wouldn't race still. So, there's... I haven't done it before, but I have tested it. There is a slight, and I mean slight, uh, part of the island you can go behind a Crook's Hollow. You could actually, because Crook's Hollow is out of bounds. You go around Crook's yeah. Hollow there's some island like the beach you could pretty much kind of almost beach your ship on the island be in bounds reset the timer turn around and get on the north side reset your timer <laughs> on the north and then come back around so oh, shit. you could actually go to crooks hollow <laughs> but i mean this might be one of those situations yeah i have tried it yet yeah, no yeah, no yeah. I, I not in game and i've never needed to see in game oh an lbh but you i've tested an adventure you can't do an adventure yeah uh, but as for in game I've never had to. See, now yeah. there's three ships on us and a Megalodon, by the way. Exactly. And the mech is going to be very annoying. Exactly. I can so, you that. Okay. So this is a scenario, right? So you still have a way to escape because these ships are too far away. Purple is way too far away to do any damage to you, as is red. So you still have, an, you still have an options. Like I said, this case, if you were going the opposite direction, you would be fine. So I would anchor turn yeah. because these ships are still they are not in border range they can't do that they can't shoot chain shots so you still have some options to leave i would anchor turn at this point and try to go the opposite direction and actually you'd be fine if blue was behind you here that would suck it still be the only option that would suck but blue as you can see is going left so you're actually fine you could have anchor turned right here and been fine just going the opposite direction Ooh. um yeah the meg, the meg would have made it harder the Meg would have made it harder, yeah. got anchor turned. I don't think you would have gotten hit on the anchor. Oh, yeah. But, no, I, should, I don't know, we'll see. You might not get hit on the anchor. It's fine. He would have been fine. So, yeah, like, you're trying to do the 180. If you're going to do 180, just do an anchor turn. Stops, yeah, you, right. and stops you immediately. That we don't go out of bounds. And you can just go immediately. You can just, uh, once you yeah. reset, you're good. And this is the end, by the way. Like th this isn't coming. bad. Are you out of bounds? Oh, the mech hit you oh, twice. No. Unlucky. Mech puts me back in out of bounds. I, no, I, I, I'm not just, happy. You should just raise, you should drop all. You're fine. This rock is pretty much in bounds. You should yeah. drop all. You need to drop all. You like you could have you could have gone. Yeah. This is in bounds. You you're trying to go towards. Well, you could have gone way over here. Yeah, I thought I needed to go way more for in bounds. You know, that's that's probably why I fucked up. Yeah. See, we were in ages ago. Do you hear? That? That I thought we were not. Yeah. Okay, you crank that door. Okay, so your priority needs yeah. to be wheel. You you have three. You have well, if your builds down below, you have two people who can turn who can turn the mass. You need to be on wheel right now because this ship is this. Yeah. You got saved because this ship peeled off for no explainable reason. This ship could just full raise and just shot you on the left side. Instead, they turn away. Luckily for you, which is wonderful. So they're not shooting you. So you have to take the opportunity to just go straight. Instead, you're just like cutting in towards blue. So you turn this this mass, which is not needed. Like you have, you can have your team do that. Also, both these master in are in win, so you don't need to turn this back still. Because you don't, you don't realize you don't realize that rep, that wheel is uh, not repaired. Yeah. Don't get don't get Kill him! Kill him! I catch! I catch! Kill him! I got He's dead, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead. He should be, he should be. I'm almost dead. I lost two men. And it's where we sink. Okay, so at this point, I mean, you can't really raise it. I'm not sure why you're trying to raise it. It's fine, though. We're getting fucked. Okay, so this is where you call your flex to go down. 
and you kind of got to survey the situation, see what's happening. What I would be doing a full tank here, so yeah, that's fine. I would tell my flex to go down. I probably tell flex and MC to go down, help bilge. I'd go up to wheel, see the situation, see if there's a way to get out, and then I'd call main cannon up to help me raise front mast and drop it and leave. Is what I would try to do. Because once, because once okay. there's a border, and that happens, you've killed them and your anchor's up. You got to help your bilge. Your bilge can only hold for so yeah. long. If he, because he'll hold for as long as he can. But if at a certain point, since now you don't really need anyone up top, you need to realize what you need to figure out what your plan is first. So at this point. Once this happens, I turn the bill straight. I don't, there's probably a ship to your left, to be honest. I think there's only one to your right. Let's see what happens. Is there one to your left? Another border. That kind of sucks. Kill him nice, which is great. Oh, there's two borders. Point just tanking, just whatever. Not much you can do. Nice. Okay, so I would go up because it's not League of Thieves. We can just yeah. sit there. You have to. Exactly. Do exactly. I play like League of Thieves now. Yeah. yeah I give you something yeah. to leave. So uh, it's but fine. Can to you hit. raise a sail, though? Can you yeah. raise a sail? Like, I was like, yeah, raising a sail in this situation is fucking possible. You could double raise okay. it. You have to wait. You have to. Well, we're, number one, you're both just turning right the entire time right now. You need to turn the wheel straight, first of all. Um, you, yeah. you can go towards Crooks Hollow. I think you're fine. We have to get out of here. We so. I would have had my main cannon go down and bucket for a while, just alleviate some of the pressure. I'd go up top, figure out a way to leave, and then once I've turned the wheel or figured out an opening, I tell my, my cam to come up, we'll double raise mid or front sail, and then leave. Yeah. I said, like, you don't need these buckets right now. You don't need them. You need, you need to leave. Because if... It doesn't matter yeah, how yeah. good you are at tanking, eventually they're just going to put in too much pressure for you to hold. I, so gave, you up on, uh, I gave up on leaving here. Because your anchor's still up, I think, is it not? No, it's down. Oh, in that case, you gotta leave. You just said. You have like two holes. And you're quad I'm looking, Yeah, it might not have been fast enough. Like, the main problem is they dropped your anchor. Um, let's see. So you caught that. The second border came through. Who dropped the anchor? There's that border. I don't think anchor was dropped. Oh, they, didn't. No, they didn't drop it. Yeah, the anchor's still up at this point. Let's see. That guy, the anchor's still up. Kill that guy. Another guy comes through. Anchor's still up. Oh, you're chilling. Yeah, anchor's up this entire time. You were chilling. Yeah, I should have immediately raised the sail right after killing these borders. No, once you kill the borders, okay. you want to come down. So you're already down here. I would take a bucket. Yeah. I would take. I would go up. Like you have three people. Three people can hold it for a while. So I'd have them go down. I would go up to wheel. Yeah. Figure out a way to leave. Once I figured it out, I'd tell my main cannon to come up and raise a mass with me. We double repair it, drop it, he'd send he'd get the third repair. I'd go to wheel. And then if we're hurting, he would go down below to help out the Belgian flex. If they're the border, he would watch borders. That's what I would do. Because you're actually chilling, because your anchor wasn't down. You didn't have any pressure right now. Like your main cannon was up. Like your main cannon, I think he was he was he was getting ammo. Like you were fine. You were double you were double up and you have like two holes right now. You were not hurting. Yeah, you had a lot of time. Let's see. Yeah, you were fine. How long did you tank for? You could have done something, let's see. How much you have? So this happens. You killed him here. So 309.33. So for 50 seconds, you just sat there bailing two holes. You had 50 seconds to raise a mast and leave. <laughs> He didn't take it. I'm lucky. Yeah. Yeah, you had time. You definitely had time to leave. Okay. Because yeah, now you're here. Now you can't do anything. It's over. Um, but yeah, like you killed the borders. You had no holes. You had 50 seconds to. Yeah, there you turn need the to raise. Straight, yeah. Turn the wheel straight and raise and uh, raise the mast. Yeah. Like you were fine. <laughs> yeah. So. You definitely could have done it. Yeah, the yeah, 
Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's, it. that's all you could have done. So back here, like I said, so I would crank left. The most important is like at the beginning, right? You would have gone left instead of right. Like that's that's the important call. Yeah. Because if all the ships are coming for you, you can't go to the corner. And so then, you, so yeah. yeah, that was, that was can, my yeah. opening idea. Because there's the thing, right? If I can beat blue to this area. And that means I can yeah. take a one v one with blue or take a one v one with red. And once they now, luckily, purple actually saves me here because purple just goes hard right, and so you have a lot of room to fight purple. Because this happens. Yeah, so you would have gone left. Yes. Well, I would be looking at purple to see what they're doing because you're you're looking at blue right now. But yeah, at this point, I would have yeah. called to raise mid front and back. We full stop. Turn on purple. Purple knows they're full nosy, so they're gonna try to take. They're gonna like raise mid, take like a long broad. They're gonna go behind us, take a mid range broad. They're not gonna just get real close. They're gonna take a mid range broad, and I triple sell out. Yeah. Like I said, it wasn't bad when you went here. Sorry. It wasn't over yet when you went here. You just had to anchor turn. Yeah. Um, so you could have gone the opposite direction. And then when you're here, you could have just gone this way because this team, if they were smart, would have just followed you. Luckily, they didn't. So you could just go this way towards this rock and been fine. Hug, hug the corner, go on the side. Because here you can go to the corner because purple's here guarding you. But purple's a shield. So if, pur if blue wants to come for you, they have to go for purple. And, yeah, teams, and teams yeah. are always scared of each other. Like, oh, there's, there's a team coming in here. They might shoot me. We got to turn and shoot them first. So purple acts as a shield for you against blue and red because they're just they're guarding you against them. If you're if you're over here, they're guarding you against them. So yeah, if you just they're like way, a one v one shield, right? Like you yeah. have a, you you take one v one with one ship, like you said before. I just need to do that. Like if I, yeah, you're right. And you, oh, you I buy. I didn't understand. I didn't really understand the bound there. I I hate southbound. I'm not that good at it, but I can go further than I thought. You know. I get used to it. So. This is the island, so basically you have a little room. Basically, these rocks. Basically, this rock is out of yeah, bounds. Yeah, you have a little bit. Out of bounds. Yeah, basically it. But yeah, like you could have okay. easily gone. The, as long as you're near the island, like you're in bounds. Twenty-five seconds. But yeah, so you could have easily gone that way, been fine, wrapped around the whole thing. Then you would actually yeah. have left the entire situation. Per this team purple would have probably still followed you, but it's just a one v one. It would have been a one v one, yeah. yeah. Could have even full raced in the. We could have even full raced in that uh, corner and then just taken a one v one, and then blue wouldn't have come. Yeah, and you were chilling here too. If you hadn't been so preoccupied with turning that mast, you could have repped this wheel sooner, turned the wheel straight sooner. Then when he got yeah. on, you wouldn't just be spinning around the same area. You'd be going straight towards Snake Island, away from all the yeah. ships. Instead, this happened. Yeah. So by when he boarded, it was too late. It was like over. Now you have to do other things. I read it at the last bit, by the way. I did hit the wheel late. Yeah, yeah, because you're a little late there. This happens because you it will honestly should be turning mill straight right now because this yeah. game's here. Um, but I hit it when I get. Yeah. This happens, and then red is there, but red doesn't seem to be a very good team, so I'm not too worried about them. It's still better to uh, know it's blue, it's than blue. to get rolled the one. No, the team, yeah. the team up here. Oh, you mean those? Yeah, yeah, so okay, yeah, you're right. If you're trying yeah. to go straight, you're going to go to them, but it's better than being in the middle of purple and blue. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They're the, the best teams, blue and purple. I do not catch at all. This happens. Also, you can't make the call to catch sails once they're already down. Yeah. Need to catch sails. Catch what? They're already down. There's no catching. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that was funny. But yeah, at this yeah. point, just how it is, like, you just need to uh, tell your team what to do. Honestly, it should have been over at this point, because purple's here. But yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. Just the... Yeah, like, you did fine. But yeah, definitely just send more borders. Like I said, it, there's a lot yeah. of situations that will just always happen. And you can do the same thing in a situation every single time. Like I said, a very common situation is a ship will be running away from you. In that case, drop all sails so you can just keep getting closer and closer and closer. Send some borders, yeah. shoot high for mass, easy shots. And then like that, like if other ships are all going for you, then you need to play, you need to find the open water and go for it. Or that's not going to be options. So just choose a ship and go for it go towards one ship and away from the other and it didn't happen too often you didn't get targeted a lot but one thing i want to make sure you do as well because I, I didn't see it but one thing you want to do is if your yeah. plan is to run away from a fight drop all sails a lot of teams and helms will like drop front and back sail when they're trying to leave because they're like oh mid sail can't be lowered or else we're going too fast wah 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 
But if your yeah. like, goal is to leave, you should leave as quickly as possible. Because yeah, the longer yeah, it you all stay, sells. exactly, the longer you stay, the more damage you're going to take. So your goal is to leave, then leave. Yeah. It didn't happen to you. Yeah. But that's one thing you want to be careful of. Yeah, I mean, like your team yeah. is fine. Like your team can win the broad, so just let them and get close. Like I said, LBH, your League of Thieves, no one runs away from a broad. Even, even even if someone loses a broad in League of Thieves, doesn't matter. People will still stay there because their mask gets yeah. chopped or whatnot, and so they'll just stay in the broad. And so in LBH, it doesn't happen. People will leave fights all the time. And so just make sure that you are getting as close as possible to make sure that when they eventually do run away, you can still shoot them for another 30 seconds and then send borders and be fine. Yeah. Yeah, so just send a double and triple. You got to be you got to be very, very proactive with your borders. So like it's very it's very clear when someone's trying to run away, right? You're very clear. You can see them turn off or you see them full raise. And they're just like turning away from you. They're, they're about to lower sales. What I would do all the time is whenever I saw a team that I realized they're like, they're going to leave very obviously going to leave, you know, they're turning away from me or whatnot. I'll say the moment they drop sales, go double. Very simple. That way my team knows the moment they're dropping, I'm going for a board. That way there's no, they're not any confusion. I, I just I tell them what needs to be yeah, done. That's do yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. And yeah, like, I sent two little borders for sure. Exactly. And like I said, one big thing is the only difference between a double board and a triple board. The reason why you should send either one, like I said, if you send, you send a triple because board, you can take holes, right? Th- yeah. Exactly, exactly. You send a triple when your boat is in no danger, or you can put your boat in a position where you will be in no danger of putting of getting any holes. A double board is if you're in a situation where you might get some holes. Yeah. Yeah, which is that simple. Real easy. And then everything else was fine. Uh it's just it's not bad. You make sure that you like you have your team. You have three people there who will do what you tell them to do. So have them turn the mast, have them raise the mast, but you make sure you check the map and you make sure that you your bone is a good spot so that yeah because if if you hadn't turned that back mask you might be able to leave or whatnot and obviously it's fine like it's i mean really it's just a 50 50 either turn left or you turn right one's the correct option and one's the wrong one you can always leave most situations um it's just a matter of being able to capitalize on all of them because like whenever yeah. i did it i played super aggressive because like i said i had to if i didn't we would just get rolled in a five boat final zone because these teams know they can't win the 1v1 against Dauntless. They know they can't. So because of that, they're not going to take it. They're trying to run away. Oh, and exactly. whatnot, which means that they're yeah. only going to fight us when we're in a pinch. And there's no bigger pinch than a five-boat or four-boat final zone. They're like, oh, Dauntless is here. Shoot them. This is our chance. So yeah. I, I had to sink them before it, before it came to that. So, I mean, it's oh, that simple. makes sense, yeah. It's just simple. You just, you just chase the ships that run away. You send some borders. Realize you make sure that you get your boat in a spot where you can quickly get to someone. So, because they're just saying, like, if you're trying to run away, I always just assumed my team would make it on. So I would triple sail drop and just assume they're making it on. That way they, I'm ready for the anchor drop. And if they don't, I'll just turn away, anchor turn myself or whatnot, and just leave. Yeah. Yeah, it's really easy. Hellmane is easy. As someone once said, his name was Posty, he said, this game is easy. If you can't find the bad players, then you are the bad player. Very nice. I thought it was funny. I love that. I love that. I thought it was funny. That's good. 